so hello welcome back to okay this was supposed to be one video it's bled into three three videos but we are gonna be doing um another video in my pastel cozy cottage build today if we get chance we'll also make some inhabitants for the cottage we've been talking about uh the beautiful woman love woman couple that were living at this gorgeous little house that i'm showing you you guys can't see because i'm letting uh, <laughs> i will show you the game in a moment we've obviously got the chat here saying hello to you guys on youtube if you want to say hello to twitch go ahead and do it in the comments on uh on youtube right now and here is where we've been doing a poll by the way for eye color so if you're on youtube and you want to let me know what your color is eye color is let me know in the comments now but we've been building this for three streams now it has taken us a while i actually think i'm gonna ditch this because i don't like that i can't see the front entrance of the house very well um i think we've still got a lot to do i still want to grow plants up this part because it feels very like exposed right now um and we also need to do all of the back of the property as well but we're getting there we've done quite a lot i'll give you guys the tour i'll give you guys the tour let me uh let me go inside the house through the front door so here we go so here is our little hallway with our little shoeies uh we also have some pastel umbrellas pastel headphones uh some herbs just because herbs are cute and then this is our pastel living room very adorable we obviously have um kitty cats that live here and uh we've also got these adorable little microwaves coffee machine everything is just i mean the vibes are immaculate the vibes i've got to say are immaculate we look out this window and we're just like <sighs> that's how you feel when you look out that window that's how i feel anyway and then we have our little vibey area here with the rocking chair. There's no TV in this house because we like to read instead. Even though there's no bookcase. Oh, there's a bookcase here. There's some books here. Uh, we've got our little dining room vibes here. That's from the paranormal park. And a little baking accessories area here because the kitchen's kind of diddy. We've got these little cute plants so you can look out here. And there's a door there to the outside. We need to still do that, as I mentioned. We have our bathroom, which I really quickly did in the last, at the end of the last episode. But I kind of like it. I actually kind of like it. I like the plants. Okay, so our bathroom's kind of vibey as well. Bathroom goes through to our bedroom. We actually have a little fire in our bedroom. The bedroom took us a while, but I'm happy with where we got to in the end. There's also a baby in this household. So the bedroom leads onto this cute little baby area here too. And there's also like a little decking at the back here. I don't know what you'd call that. But we'll put some furniture on this today as well. And then when we go back into the house, we can go through this door. Oh my gosh, I'm getting lost. Through this door here. And this is like the hobby room here. So we've decided that a beautiful lesbian couple live in this house. One of them paints... She likes to paint here, her paints drop on the floor, and she looks out this window for inspiration. And every now and again also can do little hand squeezies with her wifey, who sits here and scribes. <laughs> uh, but she's a writer in my head, that's what I like to believe. She's a writer, so she writes here. And this room's kind of hectic, but also very cozy, very adorable. And that is where we got to so far, so... What do you guys think? I'm, I'm still not convinced on the roof, honestly. Um, but the front of the house is looking cute. We just need to do a lot of work on the back of the house and then just dress in the house. And then we're kind of done. We're kind of done. It sounds like Jesse and Roxy. It does have Jesse and Roxy energy. Roxy, though, would prefer a keyboard. She likes to... Um, she's an entertainer, isn't she? Uh, let me just catch up with the chat real quickly because we've got Nina Sophia who's been here for seven months. Thank you so much. Well, F, thank you so much for the bits. My eye color is brown, but under the light it turns reddish. In the spring it goes really light. Meanwhile, my boyfriend has beautiful brownish green eyes like army green. Uh, eyes are such a vibe. Just love all the colors. There's no such thing as ugly eyes. All eyes are just so beautiful. So, eyes, we love them. And Fiona girl, thank you so much for the win. Two, three, four. 500 bits a big big huge heart to you thank you so so much hungry squirrel thank you so much video for three six nine months in a row that is a whole twitch baby art <laughs> tier two thank you so much for the tier two love that um sending big hugs to you and the whole community hungry squirrel sending some big hugs right back also barkers thank you so much for the bids hi Claire, i just want to ask for advice i made a tiktok where i try to make up look and i'm proud of it 
However, I'm too uncertain to post it. I don't want to be laughed at, so I don't know what to do. Can you help? Have a nice stream. I get super nervous posting things with my face to TikTok as well. Um, I would just say do what makes you happy. If it's going to make you happy to do it and you're proud of your makeup look, post it. But if it's going to be too much anxiety for you with the comments and stuff and wondering what people think, then I would save yourself the anxiety and just like... Just keep it as a makeup look and, you know, share it with your friends, maybe on private messages instead. Do whatever you think is going to make you the most happy. Um, oh, what world is this? This is, um, I just keep wanting to say Bridgerton. This is Windlesham. No, this is Winterfell. No, this is, oh my gosh, why can't I remember what this is called? Windenburg. There we go. This is Windenburg. Um, oh, geez. Oh, they're the windmills. They're the wind farms. Yeah, this is Windenburg. It's an area of Windenburg that I don't usually go to, but I really like this world. I think it's worth buying this park just for this world. I think it's the prettiest world that's currently in the game, other than maybe Solani. I really like Windenburg, even though I don't know where it is, clearly. Um... Da, 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 da. Um, Jenna, uh, Jenna Hardy, thank, Hardy, thank you so much for video for two months. This house is so cute. I love your videos and streams. I'm so happy to enjoy your streams today while drawing some emotes. That's awesome. Hope your art's going well. And Bella Lily, thank you so much for being here for three, six, nine months at Tia Two. Thank you so much for the Tia Two love, Bella. Uh, spent all the weekend playing Stardew and watching your second channel videos. Love you, Claire. Thank you for making this time easy to deal with. Hope your Stardew farm is going okay. And I'm glad that you're enjoying the second channel videos, Bella. Thank you so much for the tier 2 support. So, Wave Food, thank you so much for being here for two months in a row with Amazon Prime. Hello, Claire. So happy to be here. We're so happy to have you. Lovin, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we come Lovin to the peaches, please? And Abby's Peachy, thank you so much for being here for two months in a row. Hope you've had an awesome two months. Thank you so much for the resubscribe. And Kat Zilla, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Catzilla to the peaches, please? Okay, so um, let's have a nosy. I think we should probably, since everything else is done inside the house, I want to decorate this little area here. So this is kind of like our little, it's like a little decking area. I was going to put this on. But I don't know whether it's cute to have like a little outdoor table where you have tea and stuff. I think that's kind of a vibe. Um, so let's have a look at some cute outdoor furniture instead. I'm so sl slow at Stardew. I'm in winter and I don't have any animals or house upgrades. Don't forget there's three of us playing on ours. That's why we've got quite a lot by winter. You can't com really compare a single solo play to a play where people are like um, playing together. It's not fair. The one with the gaming. The, here, of course you can have a virtual hug. There we go. This would fit pink gen so much. Um, I'm trying to find like pastel -y vibes things. Cause like this is really cute, but it's not actually pastel. So I want to make sure that we are trying to find pastel color stuff. So yeah, none of these is really fit in the build. That's very cute though. And I'm thinking maybe some like little candles and stuff out here as well. Are you pink? Oh, is that pink? Is that pink? It's hard to tell. Yeah, it is. <gasps> A pastel pink table for outside. <gasps> Cute. Backyard oasis patio table. Do you have a matching chair? The toddler table. Which is the toddler table? Did it, is that come with the toddler pack? I like this one I've got right here, but I'll have a nosy at the toddler one too. Oh, yeah, this one is very pastely, but it's so bright that it's actually hard to keep like track of the colors. It's very bright here for some reason. I like this one. I like this one. I don't want to go too big with the furniture on here because it's not much space. Please, can you turn the music down? Yeah, sure. Is the music quite loud? Is that better? Hopefully that's a bit better. Um, let's see what's a good Michi Machi chair. There's this one. Kind of goes with the vibes here, but I don't know if it's a bit much. Um, that's kind of a bit boring. <laughs> Wait, where is my rustic romance chair? Because that will definitely work. 
In fact, a lot of the rustic romance stuff is gonna look really cute out here. So let's get rustic romance, which is a puck by the Plum Bob Tea Society. So here we go. Yeah, these ones are pretty. I've got like pastel blue kind of vibes. Uh, all these ones. They're kind of high. But look at the little bows at the back. Tell me that's not cute. That's so cute. They're very high. There are some wicker chairs in pastel. Uh, let me pop one of these down for now because I love the bows at the back. So we could go for this one. The thing is, I have wicker chairs here. So I got these ones already. So I don't want to go for the same ones. Um, what else do we have from Rustic Romance? Oh my gosh, so much cute stuff. So we should probably put some um, little flower baskets underneath the windows. There we go. Oh my gosh, yes. So cute! Uh, can, I fit, can I put these around the front as well? Oh my gosh. Oh, so adorable. I want it with the pink flowers though. Nah, it looks better with a cute little, little white basket. Oh, I already got these ones at the front. Okay, that's fine. I guess we can have different ones. It's making you want to build a cute cottage. I was the same. I just like suddenly got this urge to build like a cute little cottage. So I just kind of took that and, and just ran with it really. Laundry day has some cute wicker chairs. Okay, I will check out laundry day in just a mo. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm getting everything from this pack because it's so cute. So I was thinking I could put some little plants like on here and that would look pretty adorable. And it's got like the little flowers growing up it, which is just very cute. And then there's also like these, like just cute adorbs stuff. It's like a little milk jug, but with some flowers in it. And yeah, look, look, I can put little flowers on these, cute. <gasps> Do I have that inside? Oh my gosh, why don't I have this? So cute. <gasps> oh, that color combo is just so dreamy. There's also this table, which you can put like a cake on, which is kind of cute too, like pastel blue. It's kind of big though, but look, you can put like, where's the cake gone? There is a cake somewhere. Hmm. My, oh, there it is. Look. <laughs> With little swans. It's more for a wedding, but it is cute, right? Where did I get the hanging plants? Which hanging plants? Oh, these ones? Oh, these ones? These ones are from Nifty Knitting. These ones are from Ajana. Ajana Decor. Hydrate, thank you, little fish. Oh my gosh, look at this. Some little paws coming in. <gasps> I know it's kind of messy, but they have pets. So there's something kind of cute about little like paw prints coming through the house. I don't know. Is that too messy? I think it's kind of cute. And I've got this like little hanging thing as well. Does the roof hang over here? I could make this roof like hang over one on this side. Just to add like a little bit more like vibes to this area. Um, I'd have to put like a little bit. Um, maybe it won't work actually. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll push this back. I'll have it like... Is it kind of cute? This roof doesn't even hang over, does it? I think it's because it messes with something somewhere else. Is it the chimney? No, it looks okay, actually. No, we can have a little hangy roof and then we can hang this under the roof. Just for no other reason than cute. There we go. Little cute hanging thing. Super adorbs. We'll have it in pink. There we go. Uh, you love this cottage. I'm glad. I'm glad you love it. I love it too. I don't like the edges of this roof. I think they're a bit intense. So I'm going to like just push it back a little bit. 
Mm, I like this song. Just something a bit smaller. Because it's very big. It's very pink now. <laughs> I'll make my mind up about that in a sec. Okay, let's go back to my rustic stuff. Uh, oh, there it was. Rustic polar accents. That's so cute. And maybe we can have some little flowers around the door too. I told you guys I was going all in with the cuteness this time. It looks better white. I actually happen to agree with you, so I probably will change that. Um, this is this glows. So look, it's like I use this a lot. But if I switch it to nighttime, these little lights here switch on, and they're just really cute. And we like cute. We do be liking cute. So there we go. You love pink. The pink walls clash with the edge in. They do. I will switch that back, guys. I agree. Let's uh, let's make sure we switch that back. Um, but I just I don't want to search rustic one more time. So I'm just gonna finish putting all my stuff down first. And maybe we can put these like on the edge of here, but like a bit smaller. Like that. That's kind of cute, right? Cute! And then we'll switch it to like a more soft colour. Like that. Good! Will you make the girlies to put in the house? Yeah, that is my plan. That is definitely my plan to do that. We'll see how we get on today. Um... Can I make this tablecloth small enough to fit on this table? Oh no, it wants to be on the table. Go down. Ah, oh, never mind. And then I have this nice wreathy thing. Just, again, just for cutes. Maybe put it there. Uh, will you ever upload your mods folder? I actually can't upload my mods folder because I don't own the rights to the mods. Um, and you can actually only upload the mods folder if you own all of the mods in it, which obviously I'm never going to be able to do. So I used to upload my mods folder. I think that's why I get asked about it a lot. But that's before I understood um, the implications of it, so I don't do it anymore. So, yeah. I cannot upload my mods folder. I'm sorry, guys. Hanging lanterns. I know I'm going a bit all in with the hanging lights, but let's face it, they are very cute. So, well, why not? I could add some fairy lights outside. Yeah, I like that. That sounds very cute. I think I'm going to switch this back out. Just the roofs are very big. I feel like it should be thatched, but like none of the colors match, so I can't really do it thatched. So yeah, let's switch back out to white so we avoid that clash issue. There we go. No more clashing. Okay, so what else do we want up here? What else is nice to have? Like, let me get one last thing off the rustic, which is the wines. Can you like the music that plays in the background of your videos? Yes, we might actually, do we have a lo-fi command mods? I'm not sure if we do. Uh, but I, let me just place these real quick and then I will link you guys to the lo-fi playlist that I have. It's actually not all lo-fi. Some cheeky little deep house snuck in there somehow, but it is still very, very sweet and vibey. Um. The table is glitching. Oh yeah, thank you. I'm only putting two chairs because it's just the two of them. So I think it makes it a bit cozier. And why don't we have some nice wine on here as well? Because wine is cozy. Wine is cozy and red wine is cozy. White wine is not cozy. Yeah, red wine is where it's up. Red wine is where it's up. You like the hanging lights. Good, good, good. Okay, let me grab you guys this playlist. Okay, I'll pop it in the chat now. It's getting a little warm in here. Um, so I'm just going to open the window. 
because I don't want my camera to overheat. It's making you want build CC so much. Do you play on console? Is that why you can't use the build CC? Honestly, Sims on PC is, is so much better. I, I I just think that the mods make such a huge difference. Um, and I guess it was always a PC game. I don't think it runs very well on console either. I think it ends up with a few issues, uh, especially when you've got a lot of pucks. So yeah. White wine slander. I, yeah, I don't like white wine. I'm sorry. I just really don't like white wine. I've tried. I've tried to like make myself like it. I only ever started drinking red because my parents drank red wine. And yeah, I just never really got into the, uh, the white wine hype. I don't get it. It tastes like headaches to me. Like it literally tastes the way that headaches taste. That's how it tastes to me. You did a yellow light change. Wait, do we have a light change, mods? Oh, I'm quite behind on messages as well. I'm so sorry. Let me catch back up again. Uh, Katie Cole, thank you so much for being here for three, six, nine months in a row. Oh my gosh, nine months already. We've got a Twitch baby. Yeah. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful week, Claire. So Ortiz dropped some new music. Love from NYC. Yeah, I, light, light change yellow. Thank you, Beth. I'm really excited to check out the new Ortiz music. I will probably be doing it after my lesson this evening. Or tomorrow morning as well. Um, I just had a quite a busy morning, so I didn't get a chance. Yellow lights. What's your favorite drink? Peach juice. I also like cranberry juice. Cr and also, I like Malbec. Malbec is the wine that I drink. And Erin, thank you so much for for four months in a row. I'm so excited I've been so for four months. It feels good to support somebody who supports me without knowing all of the peachy love. Thank you so much, Erin. Ali Cart, thank you so much for being for five months in a row as well. Hope you've had an amazing five months. And Megan Kelly, thank you so much for being for two months in a row with your Amazon Prime. Sally loves music. Thank you so much for the three, six, nine months. Twitch baby. Hope you're feeling a little better at the moment. My cats love your stream. Oh, I love that your cats are watching. And also, Dev Hope, thank you so much for gifting. Two peaches are Tia. <laughs> My drum rolls are so bad. Tia too. That is amazing. That is such a generous gift. If you are gifted by Dev Hope, you have access to Tier 2 emotes, which are the Peaky and the Bean Cum. So make sure you say a big thank you to Dev Hope for the two extra tier two emotes please thank you so much dev hope big love to you and bear thank you so much for subscribing as well can we welcome bear to the peaches um and also nala Moore, thank you so much for being here for five months in a row hope you've had a brilliant five months and dev hope with more gifties can we get some dev hope shaped love in the chat please for one two three four five gifted subs plus the two tier two gifted subs as well some big big love for you dev hope hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you so much for being so generous with the community. Can we get some dev, dev tier, dev hope shaped love in the chat? Here we go. Blowing some big love directly into your beautiful face, dev hope. I'm just going to hide that poll because I get that little weird white blob glitch every time I come back. Okay. What else can I put here? Obviously plants. But like what else would you have on your little balcony area? Maybe a little bar type situation? Could be kind of cute. I don't know. There's these weird like herby things from the Star Wars pack. But I just like anything that looks like hanging plants. So I'm going to just chuck some out here. Chuck a few of them out there. Plus they're kind of pastel colored so it works. Um, What else do you have outside? A barbecue? Ooh. A little yellow barbecue is kind of cute. What do you think? Do little angles. Although I kind of like this color. But that stands out way more. That looks pretty. Tuxedo Crime. Thank you so much for the one. 200 bits. I want to give you some bits because Malbec is your favorite wine too. You went to Men uh, Mendoza, Argentina for your birthday a few years ago. AKA heaven for Malbec lovers. If you haven't already been, it's amazing. It's beautiful and you should totally go. <gasps> I would love to do a wine tour with... Um, Malbec because I did a wine tour in Italy near Florence and the wine they have there is table wine It's um Oh man, it's not nice. It's not the kind of wine you would just lights on rails. Yes, that is a brilliant idea It's not the kind of wine you would drink just out the bottle. It's not like a Malbec like a really tasty wine It is Oh my gosh, what is the name of the wine? 
Table, wine, speakers, candles, bikes. Yeah, good ideas, all of these. What's the name of the wine that you, that is near Tuscany? It's Italian wine. It's really not very nice wine on its own, but it's fine with a meal. And yeah, that's the wine tour I did. I loved it though. Doing a wine tour is incredible. It's so nice and so chill and so vibey. Chianti! Alessia, yes, it was Chianti. It was not the one. It was not the one. But however, after you've had a few of them, you don't even know anyway, so. <laughs> They're like, yes, once you've had the wine, spit it back in. And I'm like, who? No, I ain't doing that. I'm not I'm not wasting good wine. That is not what we're here to do. Um, I can't find what I'm looking for here. I've got like a little square thing with lights hanging off it. I have this as well. I think this is lights. I, am I getting into the region of too much stuff in this area? Because I kind of feel as though I am. Um, maybe we can put some of these like at the back. I think that would be kind of cute. Like that. Cute! Hmm. Is that past the end of the house? My eyes can't see where the end of the house is. There we go. You're starting the decades challenge. That's you at wine tasting. Yeah, I don't spit my wine back out at wine tasting. We, we definitely don't be spitting our wine back out. Don't be wasting good wine. You're meant to get drunk at a wine tasting anyway. It's, it's the whole point. <laughs> It's the whole point. Uh, where is my like square light thing? Oh my gosh, look at this ladder light. That is without a doubt the vibiest light I've ever seen. Oh, we need to put this in the house somewhere. That has to go somewhere. Yes, there we go. Vibe Immaculate vibes. I miss wine tastings. I miss leaving the UK. I miss leaving the house, actually. <laughs> leaving a five minute distance from my house. I miss that. A lot. And I miss my friends. As well. That's what I was looking for. Okay, the problem is it's kind of... It's gonna go through my cute little lanterns, but is it worth it for the cute aesthetic? What do you guys reckon? Or I could put it a bit further back to like here. And then it will just, no, cause then you can't move. What do you guys reckon? Can I change the color of this? Oh, I can make it like the same color like this. Washing line. Oh, washing line's a cute idea. I like that, I like that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. where did I get to? Oh yeah, uh, Zarala, thank you so much for the one, two gifted subs if you're gifted by Zarala. Please make sure you say, uh, Zarala, make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. And Dev with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a thousand bits from Dev Hope. Thank you so, so much. Big love, love you Claire, thank you so much. And another Ryan, thank you for the hydrate, I'm gonna have some of my vitamin drink. That's adorable, you like that. Okay, brilliant. These lights, I use them all the time. They are the Yard String 4 Pole Light Mesh by Dot at The Sims Resource. So, if that's any good to you. Um, also, Manabuso, Manabusu, thank you so much for the bits. And Aluka, thank you for the bits. When I used to drink, I drink a type from Italy that translated to black and bitter. If you like red wines, I highly encourage you to try the style. It's a really nice rustic flavor. Oh, I wonder what that one could be. Could be... I don't know. Merlot. They grow Merlot in Italy as well. Maybe that one. Um, and also, she's uh, she's a cheesy girl. Thank you so much for being for three months in a row. Dev Hope with another two gifties. Another two, gift, two gifted subs at tier. 
too. Thank you so much, Dev Hope. If you were just gifted by Dev Hope, please make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. And Zarella with the one, two, three, four, five gifted subs as well. If you just gifted by Zarella, please make sure you say thank you in the chat. We've already had so much generous gifting this week. Like, wow. It's only Monday, you guys. First day of spring. I'll hear no different. Today's the first day of spring. And King Tyler, thank you so much for being here for two months in a row, four months in total with your Amazon Prime. Claire, there's so much more stuff in the game. You should build an Akota, Akota cast or Rise Townhouse. It would be so fun. The new book came out and it's so good. I'm glad you introduced me to seriously your videos. Thank you. I actually made Rise, uh, Reese, sorry, not Rise. I always say Rise wrong. Reese, Cassian and... The one that's my favorite, the miserable quiet one, obviously. Um, who's the miserable quiet one? On A Court of Thorns and Roses called? Him. Asriel, yeah. I, I like the quiet miserable ones. Uh, so yeah, Asriel, I made all three of those, actually, ages ago on The Sims. You can check out that video on my channel. And Chloe Main, thank you so much for being here for two months in a row with your Amazon Prime. And Knees, thank you so much for being here for five months with Amazon Prime. Yeah, in my head, I always picture Asriel as, as being, as as being very, very cute vibes. And miserable and quiet, so we love that for him. Okay, um, I said I was going to put a bar on here. We've got the little barbecue. I kind of think, do we need like a little table? Because if you're barbecue and you need a place to put stuff. So I was thinking of just putting like a little table-y type area. Oh my gosh. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. You're cute, but you're quite big. But you are cute, but you are big. No, we'll forget you. But thank you for showing us. You're very cute. Um, Okay, a little table to put stuff on. And I can put like a little candle and a plant on it. Something like that. Little pink one. It's so hard to see what the colours of this are. Like... Okay, pink legs. There we go. Because the sunlight's so bright. So bright. Um, my mum is cooking downstairs and I can smell it. I'm so hungry now. There's something so satisfying about smelling when somebody's cooking delicious, yummy stuff. Um, oh, wow. This goes on a tree. How have I never seen this before? What? Eco. Oh, my gosh. That's for eco lifestyle. Love that. I wonder if I can put it on my chimney. Nah, it just looks a bit weird, but still, very cool. Well done, Sims, very cool. Wow, very cool. What does it look like without shaders? Uh, it looks like this. So the sunlight is still very um, intense in the daytime. I personally find that light to be a little bit too harsh for evening light. It's not like that nice, you know, like golden hour lighting. I can see, I've seen people on TikTok, by the way, buy lamps that are like golden hour lamps that you then like turn on and it puts the golden hour lighting on your wall. And I was like, wow, love that. That is really cool. So I kind of want one, but I also need to stop just buying things just because I see them on TikTok. So I'm a bit, a bit stuck. Claire, what's your money? Oh, geez. How did that happen? I, I put so much money to start this build. I'm actually getting towards the end of my money. No way. I'm going to have to cheat some more money into the household, I think. Wow. Where's the video? There's no video today. If you go on my Twitter, you can find out why. But yeah, no video today. No video today. Okay, I'm just decorating this with cute plant stuff. Maybe a little plant here. Am I trying to squeeze too much in? I don't actually think those doors would be functional, but hey ho. <laughs> Are you gonna make a sim to match the house? Yeah, I think we will. I think we'll have a go at making two little similarinos for this house. In my head, I can already picture what both of them look like a little bit. So I just need to then turn that into like a reality. But yeah, I've kind of got an idea in my head. Cute. What are you from? You're from- Oh, you're from Paranormal. Oh, 
Paranormal's got some great stuff. Honestly, it just really does. You love this so much. It's the house of your dreams. I'm happy to make your dream house. I, I would love to live here as well, honestly. Hmm, this keeps jumping up. Oh, I can't get it to go on this side. Never mind. Um... Okay, what else can I put? Stop jumping! Stop jumping! There we go. Just literally laying cute stuff everywhere now. Yeah, there's no video this evening, ganglangs. Chloe Breeze, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Chloe to the Peaches, please? And Stacey, hello! A nine months baby is called Timothy after my son. No bagsies. I don't know where Timothy went, Stacey. I think Timothy might have had Twitch babies of its own and they're all around the house somewhere. I don't ever kill spiders, though. Timothy was a spider that lived in um, at the top of my... Like, up there. Um, like, up here. But it was huge, and then it went missing one day, but Stacy basically adopted him, so Stacy, <laughs> Thank you so much for the 936, nine months! And Dev Hope, you've been so incredibly generous today, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and a half! So that's 1,515 bits, what? Dev Hope, thank you so much, thank you! Yeah, OGs will remember Timothy. Let me know in the chat if you guys remember the era of Timothy. It was a beautiful era, to be fair. A very beautiful era. Um, I'm now just obviously trying to pack as much as possible in, despite whether it looks good or not, because that is my build style. You either love it or hate it. I do this with my real life house as well, so. <laughs> and I wanna make an area here for gardening. Um, however, I've run out of money, so I'm gonna have to go back to the main world and cheat them some money really quick. You remember Timothy. Thank you, Miku. Miku Mo, thank you so much for the posture check. I needed that. I'm just gonna cheat these guys some money. Yeah, the Two Point Hospital stream is up, though. So if you're looking for a video to watch, you can watch that. Uh, we could always add that to the new video. Um... Bam. <laughs> we could always add that to the new video. Um, command, actually. Yeah. What shaders does Claire use and what her, 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 are her settings? You can actually find out all this in the Discord. My shaders are the bright shaders. Um, and you can find my specific settings in the Discord. So, yeah. Okay. I think it's getting pretty good. So I'm gonna add a farmy bit at the back here. I just want, I, I like, I'm quite into the idea of doing another farmy type playthrough. I want, I, can you farm in bit life? Can I try and do a bit life controls my, oh, thank you so much, Beth, thank you. Can I try and do a bit life controls my Sims and make it farmy? Is that like a possibility? Is that something I can do or not? Please let me know. Um, and let's have a cute little farmy area. Um, how can I do this? Kind of want to put some rugs and stuff up here. You have to head to dance, but you'll be back when the stream is done. Oh, thank you. Paula, have a beautiful dance class, my love. Um, okay, let's find some cute planters. Because I've downloaded a bunch. Just got to find them. Also, this is a paddling pool. <laughs> How cute is that? Like a little, little pink paddling pool. Adorbs. Ah, oh, I know these are monkey bars, but maybe. No, they are very cute though. Uh, no, you cannot do farms in bit life at the minute. Oh, you anyway? You need like one million pounds to buy a farm. Oh, boo! I really want to do a farm in BitLife. Um, maybe we could instead then do BitLife, but do like naughty criminal BitLife, you know? Maybe something like that. Okay, so I got these cute pastel planters. So let's do our little farmy area like so. Um, and these are hydro hydrophonic or whatever, but I like these ones. 
And I don't want to make it too big because the garden's not huge. So I think just four planters is probably enough. And then this bit, I was thinking like a wildflowers. Tabitha 2, the bit life saga. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of starting to feel quite like a strong urge to do another bit life. The urge is there. I would still keep doing not so berry, don't worry. Um, it's just nice to have like a few projects, a few things on the go, you know? So, yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that. Can you play that bakery game again? Yes, I am playing the bakery game again. Don't you worry. We will have um, another episode of the bakery game up tomorrow. So, that's what I filmed today. I don't know. I just didn't feel in a Simsy mood today. Uh, <laughs> playing Sims now, obviously. But for my main channel, I didn't feel in a Simsy mood. So, I recorded some of the bakery game. And that's when I discovered you can do Cat Cafe, which was very exciting. So, yeah. What happened to the Paranormal series? We kind of... Every episode started feeling very much the same to me. I don't know. So I kind of wanted to branch out and try something else. This is a very straight path. Let me do this a little bit more. Do a little bit to here. And then... Why don't we do like a little bit like this? And then I want some dirt. Dirt! Or here. And then some dirt around here. There we go. And then I always do dirt around the bottom of the house. Just because it's... I don't know, it just looks right. When will today's video be out? There is no main channel video today. If you ever want to keep an update on my um, videos and when stuff's going live... I suggest follow me on Twitter, because that's where I just kind of like word vomit all my thoughts. So yeah, that is where you will get all of that. And I just, I mentioned on Twitter today that I, there wasn't going to be a main channel video. Just did not have a vibey weekend, guys. I had a blue weekend. A very blue weekend. Which I don't usually do. I'm usually like... I'm usually a try and stay positive kind of girl. Um, oh, we've got a different footpath at the front and back. Oh, well. But yeah, I had a bit of a blue weekend. Just, I, I miss my family. And as you guys know, my family's going through some, some stuff at the moment. And it's so hard not being able to just see them and, like, catch up with them. So, yeah, I'm just finding it really hard being separate from my family at the moment. Okay, I'm going to put some planties at the back now. Yeah, I'm feeling better now. Don't worry. <laughs> DST, DST Croix Croix, I think that's right Thank you so much for the three, six, nine months Thank you for keeping me company in lockdown Thank you so much for a Twitch baby And Dev Hope with one, two, three, four, five gifted subs again You've gifted 14 subs today Dev Hope Including some tier twos Thank you so much Dev Hope for the five Make sure you say thank you in the chat if you were just gifted by Dev Hope Okay, guys, let's get, let's get planty. Let us get planty. This tree is pretty. Uh, can I make you schmo? Do you go a bit strange when you're small? No, I think you're okay. I thought that by that tree, by this paddling pool is kind of cute. What about paranormal? I don't know. I feel like, um, it's hard to like fit. What is this? This asset has been... What? What does that mean? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I felt like there wasn't much more to do on it. I don't know. I just, I started to like lose interest in it a little bit. Can I put these at the outside of my house? Ooh. Oh, it's too big. Well, oh, that's a shame because it's really cool. <laughs> Can I make a little one? Oh, I love it. Yeah, love that. Will you do a winter retreat series? What's winter retreat? Is, is there a pack? I do not know. 
Let's just put the mother. <laughs> Always just get the urge to do that. Or a whole cloud plant. Um, I'm gonna see if it lets... Oh, wow, they're nice planters as well. I'm gonna see if it lets me put some crops in there, but it doesn't usually. I got so much more plant opportunities with debug on. Love that for me. Um, okay, but I need like little flowery bits. My favorite flowers. Buy island living just for these flowers. Put them everywhere. Profit. That's what you gotta do, gang. Oh, Snowy Escape. Um, no. With with Snowy Escape, we just incorporated it into Not So Berry. And I think that's probably the way I, I like to do things. But I couldn't do it for um Paranormal because I didn't really want to bring in Paranormal elements into Not So Berry. But then we made an alien sim, so lol, who's really laughing? So many more plants. Gosh, this is fub. So much opportunities. Although I can't place them, apparently. Oh, they are the kind of hanging baskets my grandma Marge would be so proud of. But she'd also be like, why are they going into the house? They meant to go like there. Nah, see. It's not really work, but oh well. When am I streaming Extreme Vampires next? Uh, I usually seem to do that series on Thursdays nowadays. So yeah, that's kind of like my um, Thursday series. So keep a little eye out for it. That series is getting spicy though. Ever since we enslaved Harry Potter, it turns out that's what we were missing this whole time. <laughs> Don't tell Plumbella that I did that to her Harry Potter. Are they the same? Yeah. Pretty, yeah. Do you watch WandaVision? I've actually never watched WandaVision. I know it's got one of the Oslin sisters in it, the older one, but yeah, I've never actually watched it. Oh, you're pretty, who are you? You can go in my garden. Wildflowers. And we're just gonna go a bit flower crazy now, so get ready. Because I want it to be the kind of garden. Bees, I need a bee home, a bee house, a hive. Uh, I want it to be the kind of garden where bees come because there's so many wildflowers. So that is the next thing I wanna do. I actually want this for my real life garden. I want a garden that's like so full of wildflowers that loads of, oh, who are you? Oh, you're for graves. Oh, no way, what? Uh, I want the kind of house that attracts bees. The kind of house that bees tell their friends about, I think that is the kind of house you should aspire to have in life. If you like get gossiped about by bees, you've made it, you know? She's the younger sister. Oh, I thought she was the older. Ah, okay, yeah, the younger Oslin sister then. Let's get some more wildflowers. Oh, yes, beautiful, beautiful yellow ones. Oh, the house is so cute and vibey. I want to live here. I'm trying to like sneakily get it to go past the edge of the lot with illegal hacks. I can use the tool mod to go further, but I think that's okay. Pretty, yeah. Uh, this house ha will have a lot of individual items, which means it probably won't run very nicely, but... Uh, Tally Hall, Taily Hall, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Taily to the peaches, please? And Nianstable, thank you so much for being here for seven months. Seven months, what? Love to you in the community. Thank you so much. I will add the bee house, don't worry. <laughs> The B Hotel will be next on my list. I'm just trying to like fill in the green bits with some planties. 
And lots of wildflowers. So we can be bee gossip. Because if the bees aren't talking about you, what are you doing with your life? That's what I say. Do I like horror movies? I actually am terrified of horror films. Really, like, quite scared. <laughs> However, um, we have another couple. Josh and Alice. Josh, who you guys know, um, streams as well. Um, before lockdown, they would come over every week and we would watch a horror movie together. And it was so fun. And we had, like, horror movie club. And I miss horror movie club so much. Even though I'm scared of horror films, I just liked watching them with them. So, yeah, I do be missing horror movie nights. I do be missing my horror movie nights right now. I'm trying to balance this out a little bit. I think we need an outdoor lamp here. That is definitely something that we need. A little hang on the side of the wall lamp. Uh, what have I got on the front of the house, actually? I'll just replicate it. It is a strange light. <laughs> but it's kind of vibey, so it's fine. Okay, how does this look at night time? <gasps> so pretty! Okay, I need more plants here and here. And I need the beehive, which I'm probably going to put over here. So that it's not like the bees aren't attacking everyone. What light do I usually go for? This one? Okay. Uh, hydrate, thank you. I'm gonna bounce and have a good rest. Have a good rest of stream. Lady Azara, thank you so much for hanging out with us and I hope you have a beautiful rest, my love. Uh, Ariana, um, Yoga by Adrian has got me saying beautiful a lot, but I'm not even mad because I think it's really nice to say. So <laughs> I'm enjoying saying it a lot. By the way, okay, does anybody in the chat, um, I've not streamed actually in ages and ages, but um, with Yazzybug, does anybody know what Yazzybug looks like? Like, have you seen, ooh, a bird feeder, yes. Have you seen Yazzy's streams? Yazzybug, I've, I've raided her before, so you might have gone in the road. Yes, okay. Yes, don't you think Yazzybug looks like yoga from Adrian? Tell me I'm not the only one that sees this. I think they look so similar. Can I make this grow, by the way? Can I, like, plant a whole already growing plant? Because I think that would look way better. A little bit, yeah. I think she does. I think they're both beautiful. And yeah, I think she's got like a really similar vibe. I think they look super similar. I was just thinking about it the other day. I wish I could hang these up on the wall. Oh well. They really do, they do, don't they? They look so similar. I think so as well. It's a compliment to both of them. Honestly. It's a compliment to both of them. I don't know who it's the bigger compliment for. Because they do both be beaut. Have we got wind chimes anywhere? I'm going to put some wind chimes up. My friend asked how to build better and I said use clutter. Yeah, that that is honestly... At least I... The build style I like is clutter heavy. Not everybody likes this. Um, but I do. So that's why I build the way that I do. My meme does yoga with Adrian. I love yoga with Adrian. I feel so relaxed when I do it. Old Timmy's wash tub. Why not? Yeah, I feel so relaxed when I do it. And I just really like it. So... Make it pink. You missed a light switch to red. Mods, did I miss a light change? Do I need to uh, catch up on a light change? Please let me know. I think I might try and put my bikes here, but don't, don't do that. Don't fly. Okay. Does that kind of look like... Oh, why is it so... 
If I put it closer, it's gonna start floating. But I wanted to put a little bikey there. Like two, so they can do little bike rides together, because that's really cute. But it's floating and it's annoying me, so no. Um, light change to red. Thank you, Beth. Okay, here we go. Still no beanie, Bofoli. I can't believe she's abandoned me. Light, red lights. There we go. Go down a floor. It's the foundations of the house that are doing it. It's not the floor. It's the foundations. It's fine. We don't need a bike. Um, I do need a bee, though. So, where's my bees at? Outdoor activities. That's probably going to be B, isn't it? They're cute. Um, oh, bees! Oh, bees! Oh, I'm meant to be planting some plants. I keep forgetting. Hmm. <gasps> A fire leaf? Wow. I can't, like, make them all grown, though. Can we get chickens? If I still have those chickens, yeah. It's been a while though. I'm just gonna put some stuff down and then I will like cheat grow it maybe. Wait, you're not a trash fruit, are you? No, you're a daisy. I hate trash fruit. Trash fruit is the most annoying thing. Oh, oh, that's too big. Nope. There we go. Nope. And then this one. Boom. Okay. Um, Porsche check, thank you. <laughs> um, Akeksak, thank you so much for being for two months in a row. Juco, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Welcome to Squad New Peachy. Please make sure to say thank you in the chat. And Anika Karana, thank you so much for being for two months with Amazon Prime. It was your birthday last Friday, last birthday before my 30s. I'm loving your streams, it's what's keeping me sane during lockdown together with my doggo. Fun fact, I'm allergic to peaches. Oh no! Oh no, the peachy allergies. That is not the one. That is most definitely not the one. What happens? Does it give you like hives? I'm sorry to hear that. Peach juice does have peach in it, so I think you might get the reaction. This is your dream house. Wait, where's the bees? Is it because I put bees? I just need a bee! Where is the bee? Oh, check on! Oh, they'll only be there in live mode. Oh well. Um, where is the bee? I just want a bee. Okay, here we go. Bees. I'm gonna put them under this tree so we can keep an eye on them, but they're not like right up in our grill because, um, you know, bees and whatnot. And I actually think I like this in yellow, pastel yellow. So there we go. We have ourselves some bees. Not jewel beetle. Beetle juice. Oh, it's empty. Uh, just a big old slab of meat. That's not very vegan. Do I like peach tea? No, I was literally talking a second ago about how I've never tried peach tea, but I really want to. I think I'm gonna have to buy some. I think I'm gonna have to order some peach tea now. I'll put it on my list of things to do. Cause yeah, I wanna try peach tea. Um... Oh wow. That is a big old rock. This one has a cave in it. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a whole thing. <laughs> um, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty, but it doesn't really match our style. Sorry, I just wanted to show you guys this quickly. I'm, I'm still kind of new to this debug mod, so I'm still like learning a lot of stuff and like seeing a lot of stuff for the first time. So I just like looking at everything. Peach iced tea is best. Okay, thank you for the tip. I'll have to give that a go. This is some big lavender, jeez. I don't like this one, it's a bit wild. They're too big, they're too big. That's fine, but not the whole of it. Oh, you're cute.
Ah. Oh. oh, that's okay though. Would you like little hanging hanging plants? Over the lump, I think is kind of cute. Oh, I like that. Weird fact, you got a new sink today. Hydrate, thank you so much, Genevieve. I actually need to top up my juice. But I also need to go for a wee, so. First of all, I will pour myself some more pesh juice from my little tank at the side, which makes things way easier. And ever since your guys' tip, I always take the lid off now. Okay, so there we go. Peach juice. And then I'm gonna go for a wee. So I recommend if you want a wee break, let's go now. Let's all go for a wee break together and we will meet back here in 60 seconds, okay? Because um, I don't hold wee wees anymore. There we go. stream did you enjoy the chairship on stream honestly i think this chair has got more of a future as a streamer than me this sh this chair is iconic however this chair also is gonna have to go soon because it's my jeans have ruined this chair i think it might be a bit much having a cow plant <laughs> we already got a cow plant in a series we don't need any more cow plants not that any of you guys asked for them. I just kind of took it and ran with it. We came back at the same time. We have synchronized bladders. Synchronized amount of time needed to wee. I love that for us. That is just a whole vibe. Nice. And this is just the bar. Oh, look at all these lettuces. Oh, I could have made that. I could have made it look like I was growing lettuce. But there's so many of them. Oh, why give us these and not actually just straight up give us farming, you know? That is torture. That right there is just torture. How come it disappears? Oh, the cow plant. It goes back to being like a baby cow plant. So it is technically there, but it's just like all shrinkified. Um, which, yeah, is kind of annoying if you want it for vibes, I find, anyway. That's a bit wild, Claire. Simmer down, Claire. <laughs> Simmer down. Okay, I'm just gonna finish doing, like, the little planties everywhere. And then we will go into casts. And finish this off once and for all. I like this because it looks like it's growing up the side. Do I get any of the color options? Yeah, let's go pink. Can you sell this cottage to me in real life? <laughs> if I had this cottage, I would be moving into it myself. You can come live with me though, that's fine. We can hang out together. As long as you put the toilet seat down, because that really annoys me. <laughs> you gotta be if you wanna live if you wanna live with Claire, you gotta put the toilet seat down. I don't care, I'll nug. Hate that. Oh, Claire. <laughs> it just looks so ugly otherwise. Like, just put the toilet seat down, you know? Just do it. Just do it. It's for the best. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Look at these things. Oh, I love them. Oh my gosh. 
Well, all my builds are just gonna have mushrooms in them now, aren't they? Love those! And we got this, like, long grass as well. I don't know if it's a bit much, though. Yeah, it's a bit randy. Some of the plants don't match the world. It's never stopped me before, and it never will. This is actually meant to be in Solani. I put this in every neighborhood ever because it's the best plant in the game. It's just so pretty that it will go everywhere. Yeah, I'm not really very hort horticulturally correct. I just find cute stuff and put it everywhere. Like, who is this? Cute head. Little hanging purple plant. Love that. Maybe put a drying... Oh my gosh, yeah, I did mean to do that. I was going to put it around the side. Okay, we'll put a washing line here. Thank you for the reminder. This side, I think I'm just going to make planty. Because I sure do be loving plants. Even though I keep killing them in real life, I promise you I love them. I'm trying to get some bigger ones so I can, like, do it a bit faster, but... They ain't be cooperating. I'll put that fiery one here instead. It's less in the way then. And... I swear, so much of these streams are just me carefully placing plants and being like, does that look right? This room's really warm. My, my camera's gonna overheat, I can just tell. This house is getting cuter and cuter. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you think that. Because I know I go a bit much on the plants, and I know it's not for everyone. But I just really like them, and I want more plants in my garden in real life. So I think I just like... Because I don't have more plants in my garden in real life, I just do it in Sims instead. To like, make me feel like I have it. Dev Hope, what are you up to? Okay, can we send Dev Hope to Naughty Step, please? That's way too many. Uh, more gifted subs? What? One, two, three, four, five gifted subs, Dev Hope. What? Thank you so much for the five. If you gifted by Dev Hope, please make sure you say thank you in the chat. Kawaii Potato, also, you've been here for two months in a row, four months in total. Uh, Dev Hope, you can sit on the chat on the step with a Lou card. You guys can hang out together. It's a nice step, though, don't worry. It's got peaches. Peach juice, uh, noodles, Malbec now as well, um, for over 18s. Also, it's got, um, what else has it got? Lo-fi hip-hop, internet, it's got Wi-Fi. Um, it's, it's got EVs on it as well, it's a whole vibe. Um, Kawaii Potato, thank you so much for for four months. Sims, Sims 202013, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the Peaches. They have subscribed for free with their Amazon Prime. Don't forget you, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for absolutely free and get the emotes for tier one. And also no ad viewing and the little peachy next to your name. And A and M, thank you so much for being for two months in a row, eight months in total. Kitty Gamer, thank you so much for being for three, six, nine months. We now have a Twitch baby, my love. What is it called? Hope you have an amazing day. Just want to say thank you for streaming through our lockdown. You make our days brighter. I also want to say thank you to the mods for keeping this community safe and happy. We did some mod appreciation early, but there's never vegan pizza. Yeah, there's vegan pizza there too. Um, on the naughty step, there's never enough. Uh, you can never have too much um, mod appreciation. So mod appreciation in at the chat as well. Well, please task pumpkin task pumpkin thank you so much for subscribing can we welcome task pumpkin to the peaches please that's a tongue twister bonnie witchell thank you so much for the bits i don't know if you watch dead grace's videos on youtube but she's done the most awesome mod review of the ice Mummons functional milk cows mod and it was so pleased please get the moo cows for a farming playthrough i may just do that bonnie witchell because i'm feeling very farmy at the moment thank you for letting me know about that I'd again, thank you so much for being here for three, six, nine months. Can't believe it's been nine months. Thank you for always putting a smile on my face. We also have a Twitch baby now, I'd again. And Lord, St Lord Stark Jelly, Stark Lord Jelly. Thank you so much for the one, two, three, 400 bits. You can lower the foundation and place the bike and then raise it again. And you can get pre-grown plants from the gallery. <gasps> oh, see, whenever I place things from the gallery that are pre-made, they shrink back down again. I had it with the, um, 
rocket ship. Whenever I'd place the rocket ship, it would go back into the box. It was so annoying. Uh, Mia Lee Bell, thank you so much for the bits. Did you use many of the Ice Mummons mods? I love them. The plants and foods are spectacular, and now there's a cow. I don't think I've got any of these mods. Maybe I just need to go hum on these mods, you know? And then more Wemmer, uh, more Wenner Rut. Thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome more Wiener to the Peaches, please? Sorry, I'm really struggling to get my words out today as well. <laughs> it's Georgie. Thank you so much for the bits. Hi, Claire. Again, Claire, baby. Thank you so much for replying to my elf ear pick. I'm so self conscious about my ears. No, Georgie. Your ears were so cool. I was incredibly jealous. Don't ever, ever be self conscious about those bad boys. Wear them with pride. People get surgery to get their um, ears to look like that, so. You've nailed them. <laughs> Good job on growing them. And George, Georgia Lannard. Thank you so much for being here for three, six, nine months. Hey, Bestie, I can't believe it's been nine months already. Love you. Georgia, we've got a, Georgia, we've got a Twitch baby. We have a whole Twitch baby, Georgia. And Mushroom Bun, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Mushroom Bun to the peaches, please? And it's Georgie. Thank you so much for being here for two months in a row, seven months in total. Okay, we, we're getting there. We are getting there. I'm just going to put some dirt along this plant edge because then it looks more vibey. It's basically just like colouring in. Sims is a colouring book, really. You just got to colour everything in and then it looks more real. And around the bottom of your trees, don't forget them. Honestly, if you had a tree here, you actually wouldn't get any grass for quite a lot. Like, it would do this. So, oh, but then you get it at the edge of the lot. I hate how you can't pipe paint past the edge of the lot. Super annoying. And then again, a well would do the same thing. So we do this. And let's do it under all these plants too. Just for the vibes. Cute. And I'm going to just extend these plants this way a tiny bit. And then I'll do the swi uh, The um, We've already got a swing, by the way. It actually hangs from this tree. Whimsical. Very whimsical. Would you do a Sims 4 Stardew challenge? Is there a Sims 4 Stardew challenge? I already have myself a Seb in The Sims, so you know, you could totally do that. Um, your pastel. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, then I'll do my washing line. And I, I think we're more or less done at that point. Then we'll make our women's. I think grass would probably be the, like, but this could maybe grow under the tree, but other stuff couldn't, you know? Um. Okay, it's extended that way a little bit. Let's extend this way a little bit too. Yeah, I like that. Maybe a fairy could live here. Ah, uh, they, they were fairies in Sims 3. I think I kind of missed out on them, if I'm being honest. I don't really remember them. Um, but I really hated the way Sims look in Sims 3. I know this opinion is like, oh my gosh, you, you deserve to... You need to be deleted from the internet for this opinion. But yeah, the, the people in Sims 3 were literally so ugly that it kind of made me struggle to enjoy the game. Um, but I liked the Sims 2 vibes. They were like my faves. That's what I liked. You should play The Sims 3. I s have I spent? No, I'm okay. We're good for money. Um, we could do some Sims 3. We could. But they, yeah, the, their faces are just like potatoes. I don't get it. I don't get why their faces look like that. When I first installed that game, I tried for like 30 minutes of like, clearly I've got my resolution set up wrong. So I kept trying to fix it. And then um, realized that it was just the way the game looked. And then I literally quit the game because I was so mad. However, after that, I did play a lot of Sims 3. But, yeah, the initial shock at the way things looked going from Sims 2 really annoyed me. Where is it? What is a washing line called in America? Why can't I find it? Is there a name for a washing line? Has it got a different name? Do I need to go to laundry stuff? Clothesline. See if you can find a clothesline. Oh, here we go. Oh, clothesline all one word. Yeah, I never would have got that. A little clothesline at the back of the house here. Oh, it's letting me place it off the lot. Nice. Hacks. I feel like Hackerman. Oh, yes. 
Oh, I won't be able to put shadow under it, but at least it lets place it off the lot. And then is there like a washing basket? Or like something I can put out here? Maybe some like piles of clothes around here. Like someone's just been doing a bit of washing, you know? Yeah, like a hampery thing, but I don't want to put that outside. It looks weird outside. I mean, like a basket that looks like it's full of clothes things. What time are we on? Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I am Hakaman, I know, right? Um, yeah, like this, actually. Yeah, I like that. Just like you'd put all your clothes in it or something. I don't know. I just feel like we need stuff here that looks like it helps. It aids in washing. And then is there like detergent and stuff? Detergent. I'm sure there's like a detergent thing. That's cute. In laundry day. Okay, let me search by laundry day and then- Ow. I've got a paper cut on my finger. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you guys see that? I got a bad paper cut. It's like here. And it's like really painful. It makes me do a massage. Uh, packs. Sorry, you guys can't see now. Um... Laundry day. Okay, here we go. Oh, more clovey piles. Love that. You wouldn't put your iron outside, would you? You just, that's just not a thing that people do. Um. Oh my gosh, I need to have a broom inside somewhere. Where can we put a broom? Oh, we already got one hung up on the wall. We already succumbed to the broom. Okay, here we go. Laundry clutter. Love that for us. There we go. Pastels. Okay. We're getting there, gang along. This house is so cute. I'll have one of these as well, just for like aesthetics. And then I already have the little broom hung, so that's all good. And what else came with laundry day? An outdoor top sink? Could do. What do you guys think about the kits coming to The Sims, by the way? Be good to get your guys' opinions on stuff. I'm gonna put some plants on these, obviously. <laughs> what are kits? You thought it was fake. Kits are like um, a new thing coming to The Sims. So like, it's like packs of little stuff um, that I guess don't really like, they wouldn't release a whole pack for it. So they just like released a kit for it instead. I've seen a lot of mixed receptions. I've seen, obviously, it's the Sims community, so some people literally get so angry, like the world's gonna end, but... That is the Sims community in a nutshell over everything. Which is why I stay out of it. Um, I ain't got time for that. There we go. Plants, obviously. Um, yeah, I think they... I don't know what the price of them is, but yeah. Feels like a money grab. I think it's good for stuff that's like... See, vacuuming's a hard example because if you put... I don't want to do chores. I don't want to vacuum in real life. Vacuum in real life is so boring and it's just not fun. So I'm not going to do vacuum in The Sims. But some people really like um, that kind of gameplay in their game. I don't... <laughs> I don't use laundry day stuff because I think it's a blessing that sims don't have to do laundry. I think that's great for them. Like, so hyped for them not have to do laundry. Well done you. 
I do have to do laundry and I hate it. So the fact that Sims don't have to, like, bravo. Good for you guys. Enjoy. Um, I'm the same with vacuuming. Like, it's cute. Yeah, you can vacuum and it makes the game feel more realistic. But it's not really my cup of tea. However, I can see that if they were like, oh, we want to add vacuums, but we don't want to build a whole pack around vacuums. It makes sense from that point of view. Because then they can be like, okay, we'll just add it in a kit then. And so it's something that you can then get. So from that point of view, I get it. And I do think it kind of works. Um, I just hope they add kits with stuff going forward that like gets me all hyped. But then I'm trying to think what would get me all hyped. Like what kit would I really look forward to? Or like what little thing in the game that doesn't require a whole pack would I get really hyped for? So I have to have a think and like figure out what I would actually really like to see. Because as of right now, I don't really know. I don't know. I like want more gameplay changes. So I'd be more hyped for like, oh, you can, like in the old games, you can pin certain like makeups and it will do it and you can paste it onto all outfits. Like I'd be more hyped about that. That would, that would be more my, my vibe, I would say. Okay, I'm just growing that around the side of the house because I don't know what to do with this area. So that's why we're doing that, gang. Skateboards would be really cool. Skateboards would be really cool. I'd like that. That would be awesome. Uh, what else do I always want my sims to do and they can't actually do? Honestly, just farming, but I wouldn't want farming to be a kit because I want farming to be a whole park with the neighborhood and everything. Plants pack, the succulents pack, I kit, I would buy that. Succulents would be good. Okay, I'm just getting quite lazy at this point, so don't do that, Claire. Do, 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 do. Horses! Yeah, I think though, because they've done pets, if they released horses in a kit, people would get mad because they'd be like, well, why didn't you do it with pets, you know? New jobs would be good, yeah. New jobs would definitely be good. I almost feel like some stuff they could add, they'd be like, yeah, but we can't because of this. <laughs> we can't because we don't want another my first pet situation, you know? Posh, oh, posh check, thank you. Bunnies! Bunnies would be cute. Yeah, if they did a farm pack, they could add um, horses in that. That would make sense. Fairies would be cute. But I think, I feel like kits more smaller than that. Kits feels more smaller than fairies. I feel like kits would be more like, like um, streamer pack. No, because they've already got streaming. Um, I don't know. I feel like it would be smaller scale though. Maybe stuff like functional cars would be a kit pack. Although I think they'd get flamed if they added functional cars and um, released it as a kit instead of just a free update to the game. I think they'd get torn to shreds. So I don't really know what they do about that. They kind of shot themselves in the foot there, didn't they? If it's smaller than a stuff pack, then it's tiny. Yeah, it feels like stuff packs and kits are very similar. Definitely. Uh, I want something growing up the side of my house here. Um, but I'm not really sure what. I think it will be on this section, won't it? Yeah. Because, like, this bit feels very, like, open. Like, it needs something on it. Ooh, hello. Get on my house right now. Some new stuff for pets. I don't think they will touch anything additional for pets with a barge pole now. Because people will just be like, well, why wasn't, why wasn't it in my first pets or in the main pets pack? Like, they, they're just going to be way too scared to ever even approach the... <laughs> 
Way too scared. Does this work? I don't know if that works. Sag. Family activities would be good. More ways to kill your sims. People do like killing sims. We cannot deny them that. Let me just see how this looks real quick. I think they should do the Expanse kit where it's just the TV series, the Expanse is just, they just make that, but a game. <laughs> I would play that, That that's, okay, space travel, functional Normandy. That's what they should add as a pack. This, this is why no one takes me seriously as a game changer. <laughs> Cause you say nonsense like this, Claire. But I don't care. I want GTA in space. That's what I want. That is the game I want to play. Okay, how does that look? How does that look? It's prom! Oh my gosh, prom is a kit. Prom would be really good. With like a bunch of prom dresses and an event, a prom event, that's a really good idea. That's that's good. That is like, like that's what we want to hear. That's a good idea. I like that. Hype train! Oh, Woo -hoo! Thank you guys so much. Okay. Um Delamine, thank you for the bits. Random plant fact of the day. We love that. Seaweed actually isn't a plant, it's an algae. It also absorbs a massive chunk of the world's carbon dioxide and could be super helpful with reversing climate change. Praise seaweed. I did eat some last night with my Chinese takeaway. Also, it's Georgie. Thank you so much for the one. 200 bits. Woo woo. Hope you're feeling better now, cutie. Oh, hope you're feeling a little, a little, feeling a little okay now, cutie. Thanks so much, Georgie. And woo woo. The Sims Castaway was the best. Oh my gosh, Castaway was a vibe, but the loading times killed me. And also, woo woo, your hair looks cute. I love the little bow. Oh, thank you so much, Georgie. I'm glad you like this. Hufflepuffs, thank you so much for the bits. Woo woo. Uh, stays. They could do kits by working with CC creators on them. Every kit being a smaller step from a CC creator. Like a clothing kit by Clumsy Alien, a hair kit by um, Harris Brittany, and a makeup kit by Grimm. <gasps> that would actually be such a good idea. If they did that, though... 100% they would have to make sure the CC creators sign a deal that goes on not a one-off pay. They should get a percentage of sales and a good chunk of sales from that kit. That's the only way I'd want that to happen. I'd want to make sure that CC creators got their fair share from EA. I don't know what happened with a recent update because that was free. But I really hope CC creators got that bread. Get that Bread, CC creators. Like, EA is turns over millions. You deserve some of that, you know? Um, also, it's Georgie. Thank you so much for the bits. Woo -woo. Claire Ashy not so very, is my fave by far. She's so cute. Did you like her new hair? Let me know. And also, Simply Mars. Thank you so much for being here for three, six, nine months. That is a whole Twitch baby. At Tia. I feel like we've had loads of tier 2 resubs today. I didn't realize I had that many tier 2 subscribers. Thank you so much, Simply Mars. Currently six, so thanks for the distraction slash entertainment. Happy nine months. Thank you so much, Simply Mars. Also, Rosie Posey, thank you so much for the one, two, three hundred bits. Woo woo. Riley Lenian, thank you so much for the bits. Woo woo. Hope you have a great week, Claire. Riley Lenian. Lenian, hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, Kevlar, Kevlar, thank you so much for the bits. Woo woo. Pancake Charles, thank you also for the bits. Woo woo. Dev Hope, also fueling the hype train. Woo woo. Pippa, uh, how did you get escape the naughty chair, by the way? The naughty stuff. Pippo, um, Pippo, Car. Caro, Caro Conios. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Welcome to the Peaches. Can we welcome Pip to the Peaches, please? Also, it's Georgie. Thank you for the bits. Woo woo. You loved the hair. You loved Ash's hair. That's awesome. And W Broom. Thank you so much for two months in a row, six months in total with your Amazon Prime. I'm so excited that Twitch lets me share messages with you now when I subscribed. I'm so glad you started streaming because you are the one YouTuber that I have, haven't cycled, uh, cycled through. Wow, that sounded better in my head. Lot. I love you so much. Keep being amazing. Thank you so much, W Broom. Stick around with me, okay? <laughs> and also, Tuxedo Crime. Thank you so much for the bits. Woo woo. You love Ash's new hair as well. All those hairs are by the... 
What's the creator that I said room with three E's or something? I can't remember the name of the creator, but I basically decided that three... I just got my vowel completely wrong because apparently I'm learning Korean, but I can't even speak English yet. So that was a smart idea. But yeah, it's from that creator. If you guys like that hair. I love their hairs. I think their hairs are so real. I just live for them. Mood! That's it. Did I say mood with three E's? <laughs> like, I don't even know how I did that, but okay. <laughs> just wow. Honestly, my brain is just, it's a work of art, really. It is a work of art. You can't even try and understand it because there's just no point. There is just no point. Mood with three E's. So that was a thing that happened. Um, I know I'm going wild. I know I am, but it, look how cute it looks. I think we need something here. So I'm going to just tr see if there's anything else that fits the bill. Like a little hungy vibey thing. Can I put these flowers on the windows? Ah, they're a bit too small. That's just ridiculous and terrifying. Um, where's the thing I'm looking for? Hmm. I'm looking for this. There we go. <laughs> That's where it was, gang. Oh, you're big. You're too big. But you're okay. Yeah, let's go for you because you fit into corners really nicely. No, 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 I want someone to build in Sims. This someone could very easily be me, but it's it's not going to be. Um, <laughs> the Three Houses Academy from Fire Emblem. That That is all I want in Sims. In fact, if you can just do a Fire Emblem kit, EA, that's my idea. That's my suggestion. One hour till my lesson. Okay, I feel like we definitely need to jump in and start making ourselves... Um, Yay, you guys! You collected all of the tier... Such strong spot level one uh, completed. Let's do some little baby Lexis because she is a little tier one babalaroo because she's only a baby. And it's Georgie. Thank you so much for gifting a sub. If you're gifted by it's, it's Georgie, please make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. Okay, I'm just going to put one of these coming down the side. And then I think we're all done. I do genuinely think... We're more or less done. What do you guys think? Oh, I want to put some plants on here. Give me a sec. I just want some plants like on these steps. Because it looks a bit dead without them. It looks like it needs something, you know? Hmm. I like these planters where like stuff grows out of the side of them. I think that's really cute. Bum, bum, bum. It looks cute. I'm glad you like it. And it's Georgie. Thank you so much for the bits. My baby dog passed away three weeks ago. I keep seeing your posts about your doggos. Oh my gosh, Georgie, no. Sending you big, big hugs, my love. I'm so, so sorry that's happened. Poor little doggo. Sorry, I'm just gonna pop stupid stuff everywhere because that's where we're at right now, gang. No, too much, Claire. One, one is okay. Two is too much. We also need a doormat. Can we get some love for um, Georgie in the chat, please? Okay, I want another one here because I feel like it, it needs one more. Hmm, they keep dropping. Which I don't love. Um, there we go. 
<gasps> Kids! Too big! These are all absolutely huge. You don't really have that kind of thing on the outside of your step though, do you? Also, can I get any of these in like more pastel colors? Yes, I can. Yes. Pastel pink, baby. Ooh, can I get you in any pastels? Yes, okay. And then what can I put here? Claire, have I ever had a girlfriend? No, I have not ever had a girlfriend, Sag. But you can't, you can't say that when you're like engaged. No, <laughs> you can't do one, Sag. About never have, never hads. It's fine. Okay, am I getting a bit too much again? The cost of the house is probably going to be quite high. Yeah, I'm just going to put a little doormat as well. Um, something cute. Like little hearts, maybe? That's kind of adorable, because I do feel like it's a house of love. Uh, and I wanted some like, little welly, welly bobs outside as well, because I love the idea of welly bobs outside of a house. Oh, that's kind of cute too. No, I think we stick to the hearts. Um, I need some like welly bobs or something here. Uh, I need like hallway clutter. I don't even know what that would be called though. I've got some, I have got some hallway clutter. Yeah, I'm gonna search wellies and just see if I have any. Well... Bing, no. No welly bobs! What? How can you not have welly bobs? Okay, this is all like clutter stuff. A little plunger. That needs to live in the toilet. Um... <laughs> no. Where have you come from? You're cute. What? Look at that. It's a bit dark. If it was in a pastel colour though, I'd definitely get it. Garden boots. Search for rain boots. Rain chain. No. What else did you guys say? Garden boots. So I search boot. I don't think there's going to be anything, guys. It is the perfect place to put your dog walking boots, though. Just a whole boy. Such. I still don't have anything on this side. Why can't I see what colour this is? Um... <gasps> oh my gosh, what? How come I've never seen her before? I didn't know she existed. What? Wow, that is a big ivy. I don't actually need it, but I just thought I'd show you guys it. Okay, um, what was I looking for? I'm looking for some little welly bobs. I think I might have to use Vans instead because um, I can't find the welly bobs. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody has as many plants in their doorway anyway because it's actually kind of stupid and they won't get any light. But I will do it just because. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna just put some vans there instead. 
<gasps> Look, we can say that we went on a... <laughs> we went on a big night out and our shoes didn't make it inside. Nobody ever does this. Nobody does this. But we're going to put high heels outside the door. This is not a thing that's ever happened. Ever. This has never happened. <laughs> ever, but it has now. Okay. I think we're all finished. I think we have finished our pastel cozy cottage. Although I s Nah, leave it Claire, leave it, stop. Don't go down this road again. There's only sadness on this road. We are all done! Let me- you guys have seen everything. So the only bit you guys haven't experienced is as coming out of the bedroom. Those curtains are new as well. But coming out of this bedroom and into the garden. Which feels like this. There is your- maybe it's a cab sub. Maybe it's a cab sub. And then look at what you get to walk out onto as well. You can like fish over there. Or like look at the fish and not catch them. And then you go through to your little garden. That's a little paddling pool at the end there. These are your wildflowers, which you're going to use for your flower arrangements. And you can do your little uh, stuff around the side of the house here as well. This, I want to live here. Look at this. I want to live here. And at night time, is this like the dead of the night? Oh yeah, I need to do that to make it night. This is how it looks at night. So vibey and cozy. I love it. I don't think I've got any lights at the front. Oh, there's a few, there's a few. I wanna live here. It's so cute. Ah. Okay, I love this lot and I love this build. Um, what time we want? We'll try and make some sims for it. So I'm just gonna save real quick now. It turns so cute, didn't it? It turns so cute. Okay, let's go to manage world and we'll go to the family that's in there right now. Yeet them and replace them with our beautiful cottage call lesbians. So, um... Wait, let me put cast full edit mode on. So you guys were kind of picturing pastel goth and witchy vibes. Is that right? Can you guys help me with pastel goth? Because I don't know what this looks like. We filmed it. We filled it to the brim. We literally filled it to the brim. We actually so did. Beautiful cottage core lesbians that makes um that that makes that make that bisexuals and you've described me and my best friend. Oh, I love that. Goth vibes but pastel colours. Should I Google it and get like um a sim to help us out? Pastel a sim, a human. <laughs> pastel goth aesthetic. Pastel goth. Do you still wear black? But you have like pastel coloured hair. Is that kind of what it is? Or is it pastel clothes too? Black and pastel mixed. Okay. Like is this the right aesthetic here? Are we thinking like this? And then... Like this. Okay. More like cutesy vibes. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm really excited to give this a go. Let's go for a pastel goth aesthetic. Okay, I'm gonna switch them off just for now. So we'll go for pastel goth for one of the sims that lives here and then we will go for like witchy um for the other sim that lives here 
Um, I prefer the warmer tones than the these cool ones. I still find them very purple. But I like these two. Uh, sorry, I'm just using the sim to start with that it just gave me. Uh, we need to think of a name as well. We need to think of a name as well. It's like the center of Seen Kid, Eagle, Soft Girl, and Goth. Okay, 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 okay. And uh, Leela Davies, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Leela to the Peaches, please? And it's Georgie, thank you so much for the bits. I'm so glad she spent her last moment in my arms. Also, thank you for the love cuties. Oh, Georgie, bless you. And you've gifted a sub as well. It's Georgie, thank you so much. And then bits as well. Um, I'm so glad, uh, wait, sorry, you got me so invested in plants. I went to buy some the other day, we love it. What did you get? Did you get any little succulents and stuff? I love succulents, but I can't, um, I can't keep them alive. I really struggle to keep succulents alive, which is, um, very big sag. I can keep cacti alive, but let's face it, succulents are like so much cuter. But I just can't keep them alive. Um, I've recently realized how much the this is the like one of the most important settings. Cause like, okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep her on the skin tone because I really like it. But let me just show you something for a sec. So you see how crazy the eyes look right there. If I change these, it changes the shape of the eyes so much that, like, it totally changes the face. And some of these settings you can't then change again. So, like, how they appear on here is, like, a one... It's, like, specific to that cheek shape. So, like, you've got to be really careful which cheek shape you pick. So, yeah, it's important. It's really important. Let the mods choose names for appreciation. Maybe the mods can pick a few and do a poll or something, perhaps. And, um, my name is Bug. Thank you so much for gifting a sub. Welcome to the squad, new Peachy. Make sure you say thank you to my name is a Bug. Uh, is Bug. And it's Georgia Muppets. Make me as a pixie sim because of the uh, bad boy ears. <laughs> we do be liking cute ears. Um... Okay, pastel aesthetic. Let me just do the genetics first. Let me get like a starting face and then we will apply all of the pastel vibes after. And I really need to go eyebrow shopping. These are new actually. Okay, I'm gonna use these eyebrows just cause I've never used them before. Um, I wonder if the noses is the same or if you can create any nose shape from any nose shape. I generally don't know if it's a bit like cheeks where you can't. Where you've got to like start with one and kind of go from there. That and that are so similar though. Oh, it's a bit different here. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh my gosh, your whole face is turning. That's not what we agreed. It's like cheeks. It is like cheeks. Ah, so you whatever you start with, you kind of go from there. Interesting. Okay. I'm learning more and more all the time. I wouldn't say I'm particularly good at making sims. I think I'm good at adding CC. Um, but I do think that's like a whole different thing. Uh, I'm trying to grab the cod over eye, but I can't. <laughs> Why can't I grab your eye? I can't grab the like make eyes bigger or smaller. Oh, there we go. It's doing it anyway. And this changes her eyebrow width. See that? That's a custom. Now, my sims look amazing because of CC. Not necessarily because I've made them amazing. But I don't I don't mind. As long as um as long as you guys like them.
Um, I finished my orange. Sudge. Sudge. Claire, The Sims 5 is coming out in autumn. Lottie, I, don't, I feel like we're a long way off The Sims 5, my love. We've not even had... Um, We've not even had uh, an announce, and usually an announce comes out several, sometimes several years before a game comes out. So I feel like we are quite a way off. Yeah, I don't think it will be coming out this autumn. I feel like that's quite, um, it is quite wishful thinking. It would be very cool, but unfortunately I just don't think that's the case. I want like the the little tip to come up a little bit more. Yeah, that's cute. Wait, wait. I want it to like flick up a little bit. Oh, why? <laughs> why did our nostrils just do that? I didn't set them like that. What? Her nostrils just moved on their own. Come back down. I oh, know. I feel like her whole nose has just completely changed shape. Why has that just happened? Elf ears. I do have the option to add elf ears. But I think because they're quite exaggerated, I'm going to keep the human ears for now. Okay, we'll do some more tweaking in a moment, but I'm going to add some skin details. Posture check. Thank you. Um... Okay, let's start trying on some skin details. Ooh, is that the one? Is that, I, I can't, it's not showing me a face, but it, that feels like the same skin details as Yona Berhard. Same energy. Oh! Oh no. Oh, the UI's changed. I need to update my UI mod. I need to update my UI mod. You know, my four columns. Because look, can you see this? I don't have the X buttons. Okay. Well, oh, that looks cute. I'm so obsessed with this skin at the moment. This is the Symbian skin. I also put shading on the Tum Tums, which I just find very adorable. I'm going to actually curve her out a little bit. Um, I have to be careful with the boobs because I sometimes want to give my sims big boobs. But what ends up happening is, um, it cuts, it clips with the clothes, which is super annoying. Um, but yeah, look, it gives a shading on the tummy, which I just think is so adorable. Because having, like, t shading on your tummy and, like, this little line on your tummy is totally normal. It is totally normal. Um, so I really like that it does that. I think that's very cute. So, I know I'm boring and I use this skin a lot recently, but that's very cute. Could you give her dreads? I think she'd really suit them. Yeah, if we can get pastel especially. Um, let's see what kind of hairs we can get for her. There's some hairs that they have in base game that I really want like alpha versions of because they are like absolute. Sorry, my hiccups wanted to come out then. Um, they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. But, um, yeah, I don't actually have alpha versions of some of the ones that I'm thinking of. Um, should I do a with or without freckles? That's without freckles. Okay, I'm going to keep her without freckles for now. Uh, for what is the sim? It's for the um, pastel house. We're just making the inhabitants. I'm not like 100% sure yet whether, I, we probably won't ever play as them, but we're just kind of, oops, we're just kind of here for the vibes, you know. Oh, it's cute. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Without, okay. I might give our um, witchy girl freckles instead. I think I'm going to do things that way. Nice. That's very red, that one. 
I like how realistic it makes the skin look. Actually, you know what? I'll just turn this one down one. There we go. Ava? Name the Sim! Oh, you guys are voting no. Okay, love that. Get voting. Get voting away. So the names you guys have suggested are Lavender. Oh, Lavender's pretty. I'm going to vote Lavender. Uh, Jillian, Hazel, Dorothy, and Molly. I put my vote into Lavender, but I think you guys are going to pick Hazel. Hazel's cute as well. Hmm, let's have a look at some eyelid overlays. Oh, yes. Look, before, after. Before, after. So pretty, right? Love that. Uh, you spammed Hazel, Georgie. Thank you so much for the bits, my love. Cricket Corner, thank you so much for being for seven months. Sending, you sent love to the community as well. I love that. And also Stark, Lord Jenny, thank you so much for the win. Two, three, four, five, six hundred bits. A big, huge heart to you, Stark Jelly. I will read out your message in a sec. I'm just going to pop Hazel in before I forget. Should we go for Lavender as a second name? Or do you guys want to vote on a second name as well? Let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, I just wanted to say hi because it just hit me that you and your streams really helped me deal with my stress. I'm so stressed because of travel restrictions and my boyfriend... And I have not seen each other in seven months now. And you always just really help me forget about it for a while. I appreciate you so much. Stack Lord, I'm so, so sorry to hear about that. I really hope you and your boyfriend can see each other soon. I'm giving you big, big hugs, my love. And I'm glad I can help you de-stress. And it's Georgie. Thank you so much for the bits. You love her. I love that. And Binky. Thank you so much for the win. Two, three, four hundred bits there. Miles and Nikki. Thank you so much for the bits. The half blue, half purple hair is literally my hair right now. Oh, is that from one of these pictures? Oh, <gasps> that hair's really cute though. Dyed it last Wednesday, so I'm living for half and half. And um, Georgie, thank you so much for the win. 200 bits, it'd be cute if she was called Georgie. We're doing a community vote is right now though, but your name's very pretty. Peachy Queen, thank you so much for being for two months in a row. Your videos always make my day, so I'm so excited to catch you live. Thank you so much for being here and enjoying the live stream. And then Herman, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Herman to the Peachies, please? Okay, um, eyes, I may do an eye overlay. Um, oh, I thought they were black. Is this the bra? Wait, where's the bra? Oh, black's here, there we go. Because that's pretty as well. Oh, wait a minute. What? Why don't... Those ones don't go over, that's so weird. What? That was the black eyes. I think they're quite pretty as well. I kind of want to go darker on her eyes because I think it's going to make the pastel stand out more and that'll be really pretty. But I have to find some I really like. That's pretty as well. And you've got, you guys have got a poll now as to whether you want the last name to be Lavender or not. So make sure you go ahead and vote. Oh, they're pretty too. Oh, they're real pretty. I like those. I like it when they don't have too much red in them, though. Because I get a lot of people do it to be more realistic, but... Like, those, those for me, are too red. Like, bless her. She looks like she slept with her eyes open. Literally what I do. That is, that is how my eyes look, dude, to be fair. Oh, wow, those ones just creepy. Um, that is makeup. <gasps> Rosie Petals! Hello, my love. How are you doing? Can we get some love in the chat for Rosie Petals, please? For the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten gifted subs. Big love to you, Rosie Petals. Can we get some hearts in the chat so I can blow them as a thank you from the community to Rosie Petals for gifting the community? Rosie Petals, thank you so much. And Castly, thank you so much for gifting a sub as well. Welcome to the squad, new peachy. Thank you so much for the 10 rosy petals. Make sure you say thank you if you were gifted. And I think I'm going to go for... Oh, those eyes are pretty as well. 
I think I'm gonna go for these. I will add iFlex, don't worry. Um, so that's like all of this business. You guys know I love adding that, so we will get to that, don't worry. And okay, so now I need your guys' help. So we will do pastel goth makeup. Does the makeup also, last name not lavender. Okay, you guys can suggest some new last names then. Is the makeup a little bit more goth-esque makeup? Like it is heavier, it's the clothes that are a bit more pastel? Because from what I'm seeing, that scent seems to be the case. But maybe with a bit of color in there. So we could go for like real big eye flicks. But then go for like a dark purple vibes eyeshadow maybe? Um, that, those ones are kind of weird. Or like this kind of energy. What do you guys reckon? Pastel goth is your aesthetic. I need your help then. Because um, if it's your aesthetic, let me know what I can do to make sure I get it right. Because I'm trying to add a bit of pastel here. But I'm not really sure about any of these. Hmm. Wow, that's heavy eye makeup. Jeez. Is it as heavy as that? Do the purple, but with the opacity turned down. Like this? I don't think these change anything for custom ones. No, Saj. All I can change is the opacity. Because the, the saturation doesn't change anything. Let me try another one real quick. Like if I try... I mean, they're a bit much, aren't they? Like this. And then... Is something like that a bit softer? Lighter. Like this? Or oh, lighter colours. Like this? This one. The pink one. And then... Let me see what kind of lips they've gone for. Ah, uh, so the lips are a real mixture. Some of these pictures, they've got like real dark lips, and then others, they've gone for softer lips. Um, no, I definitely like the other. Oh, there's this one too. That one's pretty big. That one, or... Oh, I can go even bigger with this one. Okay, that's cool. Okay, cheekies. Little cheeks. I keep flicking back to my pictures. It seems like pink up here, like quite high, all the pictures that I've seen. So like less on the front of the cheeks and more like right up to the top of the, top of the cheeks here. Like this. Oh. I can already see a lot of colour on the front of her cheeks, though. Heart cheeks! Okay. Like this. Where is that red? One minute, I've got a red coming from somewhere and I can't figure out where. I need to get rid of it. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take that off for a sec. And then this is the one that doesn't have the red in it. See, I want to keep it because I feel like it adds a lot of, like, complexion. Okay, I don't know if this, this makeup type 
is working for me. Mm, I'm not. I'm not feeling that. It's too ego. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I don't like that this one does it to either side of the nose. I don't love that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's getting lines on it. Oh, this is gonna be a toughie. A lot of these are getting, like, lines. I don't know which... I think it's maybe my eyelid overlay that's doing it. But yeah, something is getting lines, which is very annoying. Evergreen! Okay, hazel evergreen. I want to make sure we get both of them done as well. So we got to make sure we can fit both of them in there. Oh my gosh, stop doing the lines on the eyes. What is causing that? I'm gonna switch back. Sorry, I know I'm messing around a lot. I'm gonna switch back to the color on here. Because I actually think this looked better on her cheeks than what we did afterwards. So it was this. Yeah, I think that looks better. Maybe we just use this for blush instead. I like the new eyebrows though. They are the MG12 eyebrows. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's better. Yes, I do have a lesson today. So I've got 25 minutes left. And we gotta try and do both characters in that time. So this could be kind of tough. Um, but I will try my very bestiest. I like that lips. Will you upload us the gallery? I can do. Guys, it's happening! It's happening! Yay! We got Bean Calm! Finally! Hazel Evergreen! I've got it. it. She is called Hazel Evergreen. Thank you so much, mods. Okay, I really like this lip color on her. I think that looks real nice. And yeah, you're right, I do need to put on my gates. Okay, let's figure out the hair first, and then we will do the piercings afterwards. So... Um... The thing is, if we're going for pastel goth, a lot of the hairstyles I have that look, in my opinion, like, really, really good. Like, they're really well-made hairstyles. Uh, specifically for black sims. They only come in one colour. Um, which is gonna make our pastel goth aesthetic a little bit tough. Uh, what we could do instead is say that Hazel Evergreen prefers, like myself, to wear a wig or a weave, if you guys would prefer that option. Um, I 99% of the time do go for one of these hairstyles, specifically created for black sims. Oh, mind you, we can do this kind of thing. But I do 99% of the time go for um, black hairstyles for my black sims. But... Some black girls do like to wear their hair straight as well. Like, you can't just decide that only one style works, you know? So, I say we have a little experiment, a little look, and see which one we think naturally has the best vibes. Because this is cute, but I don't know if it's, it's less pastel and more, like, pink pink. Give her edges. I will do. I will do. I'll go back and um, do some tweaking. Oh, thank you, Moz. Yeah, let's get some polls going. I will also switch on polls so that if you're on YouTube, you can see the polls as they happen so you know what we're voting on. Um, 
Because I do have some half and half hairs as well. That's what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, if the ones that we were looking at before kind of had like this vibe to them. And I can do that. So I can do like this and then using this layer, I can do the other side. And we can do like um, a half and half type thing, you know? This is covering way too much of a beautiful face though, in my opinion. Uh, there's this one too. So we can do half and half if you guys wanted to do that. These ones. 62% uh, go for wig this time. Okay. We can always do a second option with um, natural hair as well to show both sides. Half and half would be such a vibe. Yeah, I agree. I have like this half and half too. Which I think kind of suits the pastel goth aesthetic. What do you guys think? I also have this very cute new hairstyle, which I almost used on Ash. How adorable is that? <laughs> the curly one that covers less of the face is this one. So that's how that looks. So cute. Yeah, that one's really nice, isn't it? I'm a very big fan of this one. I think it's really cute. Um, and I like this hair as well. Honestly, you can't really go wrong. All of these options are super cute. You don't really like the half and half. We've never really done it before though, which is why I'm kind of tempted to give it a go. Just gonna change the color to be slightly more saturated. I kind of like the purple a bit softer though. Yeah, I like that. You like the short one. Um, okay, should we go for this one then? I kind of like that. Her hair looks like candy. Looks so like tasty hair. Okay, let's go for this one. And then, let me just bring up those pictures again real quick. I, I'm loving the skirts. I'm loving these skirts so much. And I have some skirts that look just like that. So, let's go for... Um, the skirt, let's go for... Uh, I've got this new one. Which I thought was kind of cute and pastel-y. <laughs> Like, that's very cute. And then I also have this one. Uh, which I can do like this. And then I also have... Yeah, this one. So they're all real cute, right? They're all really cute. You like a hat. Her hair's so cute, isn't it? I basically just, like, won all of my Sims hairs the whole time. Can I put a different belt on this? It kind of looks like I might be able to. Um... Huh, I can't. I thought I could. It looked like you might be able to, but you can't. There's this skirt somewhere too. Where's this one? Because this one's pretty perfect as well. Um... Who is this skirt by? I actually don't know. I downloaded it quite recently. I, I downloaded it. Yeah, I can't tell who it's from. I was looking at Slay Classy stuff when I got it though, if that's helpful. Do I have any short wigs myself? Yeah, when I'm not YouTubing, I wear a short wig the whole time, actually. That one I used to wear, I, that's my day-to-day -day wig because it's so much more comfortable. Like, it's so much more comfy. I got this too. And I also got this one. Oh, it's hard. They're all so cute. Um, which one is the most goth look? Probably that one. I think that one has the most goth look about it. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think that one. Although this one's just better made. So I'm kind of tempted to go for that one instead. Just because I think the tech, the, the, it's just so much better. It's a clumsy alien one and it looks incredible and the chain's separate and stuff. Yeah, I think this one. And then a lot of the tops I'm seeing are actually black and have like a strappy kind of aesthetic to them. So I was thinking, well, one something like that's kind of cute. I mean, that's very vibey. And kind of fits the aesthetic quite well. So there's this one. Or, um, that kind of looks similar to what a lot of people is wearing. Oh yeah, yeah this is what I was thinking. Oh. oh no, it just went. Oh yeah, that goes with that skirt, by the way, they took into each other, which is really cute. Obviously not right for this, but I just wanted to show you guys it because it's very cute. Oh, there's this. Oh, let me click the one I wanted to click this whole time. There we go. I thought this looked quite like goth aesthetic vibes. Uh, I don't know now I'm looking at it though. Yeah, I thought I thought that was goth aesthetic -y vibes, but now I don't know. Hmm. You like this one. Like this. Because in a lot of these, the, the top is still more gothy, I would say. Like that. This is cute. I like this top with a little thing at the top. I like that a lot. Or I can do what I gave to um, Ash, which is like this kind of aesthetic. Which again, looks pretty similar to what those, like this. Kinda has really similar energy. What do you guys think? 15 minutes! I don't think we're gonna be able to create our um, witchy girl. We might have to just imagine her there instead. Yeah, that's cute, right? I actually think it looks better like that. We've got a mixture of colors then. And then I'm gonna go for some big old boots. I think that makes the most sense. We could always do pastel-y kind of boots. Like this. What do you guys think? Curve her up, okay. Oh, the boobs aren't messing with it, so I can definitely boob her up as well. Oops, I did the opposite of curving her up there. And then, do one more stream. I can't, I got my lesson. I was gonna do some like high socks, but I was gonna see if I could get them in like a different color. Cause it's meant to be like pastel-y, isn't it? Like more like this kind of energy. But I don't know if that's too far. I don't know if that's like not the right aesthetic, you know? I don't know if it's not, it's becoming not goth enough. And it is meant to be goth. Still. What do you guys reckon? Fishnets. Uh, and what, lose the socks entirely? What do you guys reckon? You like the fishnets? Okay. I still gotta add like some piercings and stuff to her first. You think purple boots rather than pink? I was trying to match her hair. Um, but I can go purple. Um, like dark or soft? I've got like these ones with little heart, little, little stars on them. Hydrate, thank you. Soft, okay. Do you like the little stars? I thought the stars are really cute. And you guys say put some pastel socks over 
the top of her boots. So what about if I do... Hmm, they're not really pastel though, are they? Hmm. <laughs> I just don't know if it's too much of this bit and not enough of the fishnet, you know? Keep the pink boots. I like- I do like her star boots. I think- right, let's just- let's just pop some piercings and stuff on her. Okay. Um... Okay. What piercings shall we do, gang along? What piercings shall we add? Because honestly, the sky's the limit here. I will go for as many as we deem necessary. Some aren't going to work with their face shape. No, they, they're, these ones don't work. So I'm going to use this level for eye flicks. There we go. And then... You think no piercings? Isn't piercings... Is piercings goffy or not though? Pastel goths, do you have, do you have piercings? Let me know. The nose rings aren't working on her nose. Hmm. Oh, that one is, that one is. Boom. And should I go for like a pastel piercing? What do you guys think? Ears and nose, okay. Should I do a septum? Where's the septum piercings at? Huh. And then I can do like... Oh, that's on the wrong ear. But like if we want to keep it gothy, I can do quite big piercings. Where is the other side version of that piercing? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> You guys want septum, okay. But look, look, I can do like this. That's a kind of a big piercing, but I think it's pretty cool. And where's the septum, sir? I know, oh, here they go, here they go. Septum's cute. Would you like a septum piercing? Okay, she looks vibey. I kind of like this detailed one. What do you guys think? She does cute with the septum. Should I get rid of her other nose piercing? So it's like all the focus is on the septum. Please don't be on this level. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to put those eye flicks in because she really suited them. There we go. Yeah, I like the septum. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm really behind again. I'm sorry. Um... Rose Petals, I caught your 10. And then Ellen Corsten, thank you so much for being for three, six, nine months in a row. Where have the last nine months gone? Thank you for streaming so much. You've helped me through so many tough times. And you're the reason I'm not in a deep pit. Love you so much. Keep, keep, keep being you. Biggest hugs. Biggest hugs right back. Twitch baby. It's Georgia. Thank you so much for the bits. Hazel Amber would be so cute. Hazel Amber for the name. We've got Hazel Evergreen though. That's very cute. And Miles of Nikki, thank you so much for the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 700 bits, a big heart for you. Porsche check, thank you, Raikach. Thank you so much for being you. You bring so much happiness to us all. I'm so glad to have found you nearly four years ago on YouTube. You helped me so much and I just wanted to say thank you for being you and how much I appreciate you. Sorry for the sloppy message. Don't be sorry, I love sloppy messages, Nikki. Thank you so much for being here. And Echo Moon, thank you so much for subscribing yourself and also for gifting a sub. Welcome to Squadney Peachy, also welcome Echo Moon. Please make sure I say thank you if you were gifted. And Rosie Petals, thank you so much for the one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, the last week I had really bad luck. A ceiling water pipe broke in my room and damaged all of my furniture. Along with half the ceiling caving in and I had nowhere to sleep except the couch in the living room area. I was constantly stressed out and anxious because of that. I found myself always playing your videos and it helped me forget the stress. It really helped a whole lot. Thank you for being the person that you are. Rosie Peltz, I'm so sorry to hear about your house. No. 
I hope things get fixed soon. Can we send some love in the chat to Rosie Petals, please? And Kit Kat K, thank you so much for being here for two months in a row. I can't believe it's been two months already. I love your videos and I can't wait for more to come. Hopefully you enjoyed today's stream as well then. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit a necklace on um, Wonderful Hazel here. So... Oh. Nah, you're not going to be able to see it. I could give her some AirPods instead. Well, they're not AirPods because they're like the beat ones, aren't they? But I kind of feel like she'd be listening to music. She has that energy, you know? She definitely has that energy about her. Little beats. Light color to pastel purple to match the vibe. Yes, we can. There we go. Oh, pastel purple's at here. There we go. Um, okay, and then her traits. So, I kind of see her as being into music. But then I also kind of see Hazel as being the painter of the two. So I'm going to make Hazel creative. And also, I kind of like the idea that what, like... Into music in, and creative. I like one that's more personality based after that. I know they're both like interests. So we need a personality one. Maybe Hazel is... Wait, we, there's paint all over the floor. I think we should go clumsy. So Hazel loves painting and like listen to music while she's painting. And then... But she's always tipping her paints everywhere. And like knocking stuff on the floor. And poor witchy wife has to like always be cleaning up after her. And she's always got paint flecks in her hair. So much that witchy wife was like, look, you get paint in your hair so often. That's why we're just going to put a wig on you. And then I can take it off in a night and get all the paint out your hair. So I think that's really cute. I'm going to do um, an exact replica. But we're going to show how her hair looks as she wears it natural. And I think some of the ones we tried on earlier were really nice. So I'm thinking just like this kind of thing. Looks really cute. I think that looks real nice. I like like the wheelie, the wheelie, the wavy ones on her. Maybe that as well. I kind of like it shorter though. Short is also a lot easier to fit under a wig. So yeah, after like she likes wearing like the pastel wig in the daytime. Basically, it's me. She likes the pastel wig in the daytime, but then on an evening she takes it off and like she's just got these beautiful spirals and her wifey likes rolling them around her finger. <laughs> cute! Cute energy and her aspiration is... What do we reckon? I feel like she likes really looking forward to being a parent. That's cute, right? That hair is so cute. Do we, I like the idea that one of them wants a big happy family and the other one wants to be a super parent. I don't know. We don't have to make them family-esque though. They just give me that energy. Maybe instead... Um... Maybe she wants to be a painter extraordinaire. The pair of the drops, the kid. I may have a crush on her. Don't tell her though. I, I feel like she's really looking forward to being a parent one day. Because she's a big kid at heart and she can't wait for like kids of her own to play with. I think that's really cute. And that's all we're going to get time for. I really, really wanted to make um, her girlfriend as well. I have an idea in mind for how she looks. And a few of you guys in the chat have said the same thing. So... I think that's adorable. Okay, I will try and make her girlfriend then at the start of another stream. I am just going to throw the socks on just because I think... I do think the socks peeking over the boots was really cute. I just can't get the right color. Because I want like pastel. I think I'm going to go for like this. And she's so cute. Hazel Evergreen. Okay, I can delete now my, 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 has and Ulrich Faust. We'll delete both of those. 
And we'll have a go at making Hazel's... Also, in my head, Hazel's short. There we go. We can have a go at making... Or maybe Hazel's tall, actually. No, Hazel's average height. Hazel's average height. Uh, we can have a go at making wifey next time. Unfortunately, that is all I've got time for today. You guys want tattoos? What time are we on? <gasps> I have a minute. I'll, I'll throw on one tattoo real fast. She's lost her feet. Not ideal. Um, I want a tattoo that's going to show on this shoulder. Because that shoulder, I can actually see in the outfit I've put on her. Have I got any pastel tattoos? Oh, this one's got some color. Ooh. What do we reckon? Question. This is my ignorance. Colored tattoos on dark skin. How does that work? Will, would that be visible or would that not be visible? What do you guys reckon? I have this one too. I don't know why it's chosen a mermaid. It is, it's not really visible. I like the purple as well, but I don't want to put on like a tattoo that isn't, that wouldn't actually be visible on her skin. It's less visible. Yeah, I think a lot of these tattoos are like set up for fair skin. Um, hmm. Oh, that's nice. I like that tattoo. They're visible, just not as bright. Hmm. There's none really then that are like right for her skin tone in terms of colored tattoos, is there? I really want one that goes onto that shoulder. I really have to go, but yeah, this is too bright. It just looks a bit unnatural, in my opinion, to be that bright. Look, you get all this weird pixelation around the top of the arm as well, which I don't love. Hmm. She has a similar body type to you. That makes you so happy. I love that. Okay. I'm gonna go for that one, but I'm gonna keep it non-colored. I still think that looks really pretty. And also makes more sense against her skin tone. Okay, Hazel is done. Hazel is done. So, hello again, YouTube. Welcome back. I've changed my outfit, but it barely changed at all. Weird that. So, this was the sim we made last time. Hazel Evergreen. Our beautiful pastel, um, pastel goth. However, we need to make her a wifey. So, we're going to be doing that real quick. And then we're going to be doing some vampire extreme legacy challenge. Um, sorry, got distracted by my little, little singing. But, oh, no, I need to make an occult. Nice. So, yeah, we're gonna make a spellcaster, because I just I just find that this sim has witchy energy, so... That means spellcaster. That was right, was that right? We polling names again. Yes, if you are on um, the Twitcheroonies, you can go ahead. Is he loud? Is this music loud? I feel like he's loud. Um, you can go ahead and start suggesting some names in the chat. The mods will grab a bunch of names and then you guys can vote on them. And we will use that to decide like what name we give this little witchykins. Uh, I'm gonna go for regular ears. And uh, let's get crackalackin. Let's get our little butts crackalackin. And oh. Oh, do spellcasters have the option for occult eyes? They actually do. Wild. Yeah, so suggest some names in the chat while I make this sim. And then we will do a poll with some of those names. I don't get my eye presets with um, occult sims either. Which is major sad energy. Major sad. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. The sim be looking kind of sad at uh, mud, which I don't love. So I'm going to just try and reduce the amount of mudness. Because you're looking angry right now, babes. Don't be looking so angry. Thank you. Some really cool names in the chat. We've got Agatha, Annabeth, Leia, Misty, Zarina, Flora, Eleanor, Coral, Florence, Camilla, Piper. I like Piper. I'm just trying to like soften out her appearance because um, she do be looking quite angry right now. So let's try and 
put a little smile on her face. Get her looking a little bit happier. And I'm kind of quiet when I make faces. I don't know why, but I go I go to like for like a quiet a quiet few moments while I'm focusing on face patterns. Let's, let me go for cheek options. Oh, that's kind of what I was thinking actually. Wow, that was quicker than I thought. <laughs> Piper is the name of one of your best friends from Norway. I love that. Bob Ross, you suggested Agatha. Agatha's cute. With the wet day three, four, 500 bits as well, which means you get a big old heart for yourself. Catherine also gets the wet day three, four, 500 bits. A big old heart for you as well. Labine is doing a shift of Rooney. Labine, where you gone? There you are. Sorry you have to have camera. It's not in her face, guys. Don't worry. It's actually quite far from her, which is why she appears kind of small. So she doesn't just have this camera in her face the whole time. Don't worry. We respect Beanie's boundaries. The Beanie boundaries, as they are known. There we go. Boom. Um, Catherine with the one, two, three, four, five hundred bits as well. A big heart for you. Been watching the whole of the Dreamhouse series. Love it, by the way. Have started to recreate the Dreamhouse, but in teeny tiny version. It's looking so good, and I'm hoping to try Jelma's place. <gasps> I love that. Teeny tiny versions. <gasps> I'd love to make a teeny tiny dream house. That sounds cute. And Miss Darcy, thank you so much for the bits. In French, we say... Okay, here we go. Je mange... Je mange un pomme. To say, to eat an apple. Je mange un, po un pomme. Is it manger or mange? Je mange un pomme. Je mange un pomme. I think that sounds French. <laughs> Ashra Matilda, thank you so much for for three, six, nine months. We got a Twitch baby. And Emily, thank you so much for for two months as well. Um, okay, yeah, sorry. I'm getting very distracted. I'm meant to be making this little little cute similar Rooney here, aren't I? Um, okay. I kind of want to go. I like these brows, but they look real sad. So you got to like... But then when you do that, she looks kind of mud. I don't know. But I do- I've not used these brows in ages, which is why I kind of wanted to use them, but now nah, she's just looking too sad. Too sad for me! Too sad, okay. Have I got any other- I kind of like these ones. I want some quite soft brows. Soft is kind of what I've got in mind. How do they look thinner? I've got another slider, I've shown you guys this a few times, but I can- you, I can slide from the edges to change the thickness of the eyebrows. Which is very useful, and I do like it a lot. Uh, okay, name the sim. The name options are Piper, Juniper, love that, Poppy, Isabel, and Sable. They're all beautiful. All really nice names, so I'm kind of interested to see what you guys vote for. Because I think they are all very pretty. Then there's names, good choices. Why do I look so sad now? Don't be looking so sad. Let's thicken your brows out a little bit. Why is this so spacey at the front? Like, why is this bit quite like... See that bit? Which kind of looks sassy now. But, like, this bit here is very thick. I don't get it. I don't get what shape those brows are meant to be, and there's no, like, way to reset the brow, which is super annoying for me. Now I'm trying to like reset her brow and I don't know how to do that. I've got no idea. Oh, you look you look kind of sassy right now, babes. Claire, you're such an inspiration. Also, I love your pink hair. Thank you. Uh, my hair needs to go in for like a little like a wig reset soon, which is where they like uh, wash it with proper stuff to like keep it in good con quality condition. I don't wash my own wig because um, quite frankly, I would make a mess of it. A complete mess of it. What color hair should we do on this sim, I wonder? You you guys better not 50-50 this poll. Don't you be 50-50 in this poll. No, no, no. Uh, you guys always 50-50 my polls. Can I, like, just do this whole girl's eyebrow again? Will it, like... Okay, that's a bit less shady. That's better. I'm not loving how the brow is going. That 
that one's so thin. I need to not worry so much because once I start putting skin dean cells on, like, it'll be fine, Claire. It'll be better this time. Actually, I want this bit to be low, but then just the edges to go up a little bit. Hmm, no. Okay. Uh, maybe deep purple hair. She could have red hair. You guys have got some suggestions going already. Um, I don't know where this just green under hair has come from. <laughs> I honestly don't really know where that's come from, but it's just it's just there, just vibing, just vibing out on its own. Okay, Juniper. That is a really pretty name, like a juniper berry. I'm guessing. And how about the surname? Let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, let me just pop on some skin details, see where we go, see where we end up. Because I'm kind of digging something like this. Um, oh, that's pretty, actually. Good! And um, then skin tones... Like here? Or we could go a little bit more like here. What do you guys reckon? Posture check. Thank you, Wolf. I was definitely having bad posture there. Oh, yeah, I'm worried. Egypt me. They are the evergreens. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> that would be cute, though. If you got married, you added an S to your name so that you were, like, together. That would be cute, right? And we've got Juniper Green for the light colour change. Okay. Is Juniper more like a dark green? Is it like this? I can't obviously do the lights dark, but it's not lime, is it? Like, that's lime. Whereas this is like a deeper green. Does that make sense? Juniper Evergreen. Why, is that an existing person? Hazel and Juniper. It's th they've got very natural names, haven't they? Last stream, there was a lot of suggestions for red hair, freckles, and green eyes. It's been a while since you made a redhead. It actually has. Okay, let me let me switch out the red, the green eyes then. Um. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll go for these greeny eyes. Can she have red frizzy hair? Um, I could. I don't know if I've got anything that I would class as frizz, but I can have a look. Okay, I might switch the features out a little bit then, because I've been going for more like... In my head, I was going for an Asian sim. But, if we're going to go for a red-haired sim, I will go ahead and switch out some of these features a little bit. What do you guys reckon? Unless we go for Asian facial features, but with um, red hair and green eyes. It could be kind of interesting. We could give that a go. Um, Emily, thank you so much for me for two months in a row. And Sydney Page, thank you so much for the web. Two, three, four, five hundred bits. A big heart to you. I usually watch you on YouTube. But I recently resubscribed over here on Twitch and um, watch the stuff you finish streaming as I can't catch an actual stream. I love watching your videos, they always make my day. I found you because I watched Ali at first, but I'm so glad I did because now you're my favorite YouTuber streamer ever. I love you bunches, thank you for being amazing and making good people's day. You make hard times easier for people and we all love you. Sydney, you're so sweet. Sending you a big, big heart, my love. Yeah, I think we should keep the features as they are, um, but go for different like hair color and eye options. Um, and let's see, let's see what we end up with. Okay. Um. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay, let's take off this ugly outfit that you've come over in. And then I can put some lashes on you. Please stand still. Thanks, babes. Um, her eyes are kind of big right now. Might do a bit of shrinkage. There we go. Um... 
The packing crates mod lets you move Ash's bed. Uh, I've tried with these mods before and I had such a pain. I had like such a nightmare with these mods before, the packing crate ones, that I've just kind of like sworn off them now. Sworn off them for life. Uh, who did I try it with? Was it James I tried? I tried it with somebody, maybe Connor. I tried it basically a long time ago. And I had not much fun with it, so. I like the Hollow Springs freckles because they look very whimsical. So I'm thinking maybe we go for something like this. I like this option. That's cute. <gasps> Labine! Labops. There we go. Uh, Tasha, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Tasha to the peaches, please? Melissa, thank you so much for the bits. Evergreen since it's the wifey. Yeah, thank you so much for that. Sydney Page, I got you addicted to lemon cake. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's so cute, right? And also, Melissa, um, Angel, for the when 200 bits, could you please uh, make a Filipino sim? I'm half Filipino and half Portuguese. What? That's such a, that sounds so cool. I love that. Um, I was originally leaning towards making this sim like a southern asian vibe sim but i think we're gonna go for the red hair green eyes option uh because that was what a lot of people were suggesting in the last stream and sprite reaction thank you so much for the win two three four five gifted subs a big huge heart to you sprite reaction thank you so so much for the five if you were gifted by sprite reaction please make sure i say thank you in the chat and allison rose thank you so much for subscribing with amazon prime we welcome allison to the peaches please um, okay, sorry, let me keep crackalacking on. So, I like to add, where is it? Uh, this, for the pause. We are here for the pause, basically. These ones are quite red, but this one's not, so I'm gonna go, hmm. I don't like what it's doing under the eyes, though. Let me see if I can get a different under eye. Um... Eyelids overlay. Hmm, are they on different level layers? Why can I put both of those on? That's so weird. I don't know why it's letting me put both of these on. That feels like it's against the rules. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna take that off for now. Let's do a little nosy overlay. Although her nose is very cute. I'm not going to change it very much. I'm just going to do that. And we'll add... Is there any other eye overlays here? Let's try this one. Hmm, I can't see that one. What about you? No, you're just on top. You? Okay, you could work. I'd have to get the exact same color though. Okay, that looks cute. Um, I'm just gonna have some more of my tea because it's getting really cold. My overalls are from like Rom Wee, I think it is. Um, I bought, I used to buy a lot of stuff from there, but I'm trying to avoid it at the moment because it is fast fashion. Um, and I'm trying to stop buying as much from fast fashion. Um, but it can be tough. It can be tough. Okay. You guys were suggesting uh, red hair. Red hair energy. Okay. Let me see what we can do. Let me see what I can find. Red hair with like a, a wavy, frizzy texture. These ones are kind of wavy. Hmm. What's the best clothing site for teens? I actually don't know because it's been a while since I've... Uh, it's been a while since I've shopped as a teen, you know? Um, hmm, does this let me change the hair color? Could go for something like this. If that's kind of what you were thinking. You guys like that? Okay. That's a good option then. I'm trying to see if I've got anything else with like a curl to it. I'm getting brave vibes right now. Because a lot of these I don't think I can change the color of. So like, oh I can. Ah, oh, that's quite dark though. 
There is like this one as well. Oh, that one's really long. But like pretty long hair. <laughs> um, oh, I've got like this one. Uh, is there any more natural looking reds? Like this as well. So we've got a few options. Um, what are the kind of curly hairs do I have that I know would suit? Yeah, I think those two are probably going to be our best bets. So it's this hair or it's... Where was the other hair? Oh my gosh. I wish there was a way to organize hairs more because my hair section is just wild. Was it this one? No, it wasn't that one. Oh, it's there. I want to go back between, back to back between them both, so I need to get it again. This one, okay. Okay, which one? So we'll call this one option one. And we'll call the other one option two. So this one's one. And then two is this one. Which one would you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments below. Alison Rose, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Alison to the Peaches, please? Plugged Path, thank you also so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Plugged Path to the Peaches as well? Gasp and say what? Thank you so much for the bits. Since Saffron is about to die, that means Ash will own everything in the house. Why will it be a problem to take her bed? I don't usually take stuff from previous gens. That would be the main thing. There's no inheritance in Sims, which is very annoying. Uh, and also Matty Eve, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Matty to the peaches, please? And also Sydney Page, thank you so much for gifting us up. If you're gifted by Sydney, make sure you say thank you in the chat. Let me just go forward so I can show you guys head number one again. Uh, head number one here. And then um, also we've got Delamine. Thank you so much for the bits. What is fast fashion? Fast fashion is fashion that is made incredibly cheaply at the expense of the workers and of the planet, basically. Okay, you guys think number two, 76%. So, we shall go for this hair right here. It do be looking very cute. We don't have any makeup on it right now. Should I see if any edges work? I think my edges are gonna sit on the same layer as my freckles though. So that would not work. Um, any edges further down? Oh, there is some here. It's more wispies actually, not edges. But just for a more natural hairline. Or a lower hairline, like here. I think that looks cute. And then Juniper, what kind of makeup style? So we're thinking more like witchy energy with Juniper. I might dress her kind of witchy as well. Um, as for what kind of makeup she has on though, I'm not really sure. I am not really sure. She's kind of giving me um, the energy of. There is a thing called like the um, Irish monolidedness. If you Google it, you'll see what I mean. Some, a lot of, not a lot of, but there are people in Ireland that naturally have like monolidded eyes. Um, and it's like an Irish thing. And she kind of has that energy about her, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I kind of like just something like soft like that, but like that's really suiting like her eye shape and her hair. Juniper makes you think of the twins in Riverdale. Could she have lots of piercings? <laughs> you only have to ask me once. Uh, we will probably pull on a lot of parts of her appearance so you guys can like help me decide how we do what we do with her. This I want to try this liner with my eyes because I don't have very big eyelids. So like doing a full top upper eyelid looks really cool. That's a good eyeliner for like a smaller eyelid. And it looks really cool. Marina Vi Marita Vi is that brave? It, it there is definitely strong brave energy here. I like how a lot of these eyeliners are actually looking how my eyeliner looks as somebody with with lower, like smaller top eyelids. Uh, green tea vibes. What do you mean by the green tea vibes? Um, sorry, I kind of like this one on her. 
I don't know. They all look real pretty. Oh, this is nice with the big eyelids, eyelashes as well. Big eyelash energy. Uh, where do I buy my peach juice? You just get it from superstores here in the UK, like Asda or Sainsbury's, Tesco's. Just that kind of thing. And thinking blush that adds a bit more freckle vibes would be a good shout. It's Robinson's peach juice. Yeah, Robinson's peach juice. I've been drinking it for like all my life. <laughs> no, for probably like 20 years solidly has been my main drink and I am for the most part fine so I can recommend it if you want to drink something for 20 years more or less exclusively and live to tell the tale. It's, oh. Oh, hello. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh. I'm liking the little lips poking through. A softer lip suit said, well, that looks cute, right? She is super cute. Um, Sorry, I'm just going to try my favorite eyes because I just got her. Does look very witchy, but I'm not sure if it's right for this. Nah, I like her eyes. I think we're fine with the eyes we got, so... As cool as these are, I don't think we need them right now. Nah. Well, there may be some lioness eyes. Oh, they, some of these don't go on. Very odd. They're pretty as well, though. Now, I think I like the eyes. I think those ones are nice, right? They look nice. Um, she's kind of cut-like. She does have a cutness about her. Not cutness. Not those vibes. Okay, so, um, Hazel has a septum piercing and these ear piercings. So, with Juniper, what piercing shall we add to her? I don't want to do the same ones, so I think we should do different piercings. Who is this girl? Um, we made a pastel cozy cottage. So now we are just adding cute, cozy folks to add to the cottage. And this is our beautiful couple. They are wifeys. Uh, one of them has pastel goth energy and the other one has witchy energy. Because both energies are just honestly top tier. Top tier energies. You guys are thinking a lip piercing or a nose stud. Okay, these ones... I'm not going to use them, so I will use this for my eye flex instead. Because we always love a good eye flex. Uh, so let's see if I can get a nose stud. Stud, 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 stud. <gasps> see, that's not showing. Is our nose too, like... Why does the nose piercing sometimes not show? It's like the shape of the nose is wrong. Is there any more nose studs? No, that's not showing. That's not showing. That's not showing. Like, where is this nose stud that it's not showing? I don't get it. I agree. I think a nose stud would look really pretty on her. Like, where is it? It's just not there. Weird, right? I don't get it. No nose stud. A nose ring. Okay, let's try a nose ring instead. Yeah, a nose ring I can do. Nose ring works. That's. I kind of like the big one on it, honestly, because she's got such a tiny nose that it kind of looks quite funky. What size would you guys like, big or small? Oh, they both look really pretty, actually. Let me just have some more apfel. Yeah, and no stud left the chart. I couldn't get it to work. Smaller is better. Okay. An eyebrow piercing. She does have very beautiful eyebrows that are kind of begging for me to put a stud through them. So let me see what I can do there. 
Um. Oh no, it takes out her nose piercing. Also, I feel like the eyebrow piercing's not gonna line up. Oh my gosh, stop doing that, Claire. Yeah, I can't do a nose stud and an eyebrow stud for reasons. Okay, let's let's move on to some ear piercings for her instead. Um. Oh wait, can I get this on the other side? I like that this one like balances out her hair. And look, I can put a mystical orb on there. Although that's clashing with her eyes a little bit, so maybe red or blue is better. Oh, but look, it's got like a tree on it. Ooh, love that. Aren't they supposed to be cottage core? This one is a witch core. <laughs> if that's even a thing, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, and Matty Pep, thank you so much for the win. 245 bits. I've been a fan since 2016. Thank you for always putting a smile on my face. Matty, thank you so much for watching me for so long. And also, Frizzy Izzy, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Frizzy Izzy to the peaches, please? It looks like the Celtic tree of life. Ah. Well, that's very cool. Love that. Okay, and how shall we dress her? What is some, like, witchy vibes clothes I can give her? Um, I heart pugs. Thank you so much for the bits. I think Violet should be turned human uh, because Draco wants to teach his kids to have no human mercy and having another human, a human mother would ruin that. Or turn vampire. Okay, interesting take. Interesting take. Maxi, thank you so much for the bits. Hello, Clan Peaches. I just got done testing to promote the next rank. Um, it was super stressful and studying for months. I'm so happy to be able to watch you live and relax. Come, re come join us. Come relax. Come relax. Um, and also, uh, Baby Budge, thank you so much for being here for three, six, nine months, a peachy baby. And I do be vibing though, it's been here for five months. She looks like Baby White Rice on Instagram. <gasps> Who was this person? I'm not sure. You guys sent overalls. I like that energy. Do I have any cute overalls? I'm thinking clumsy alien clothes. Do, uh, do I have any, um, like, dungaree overall type? energies uh, let me see what i've got um, no don't do it okay <laughs> i didn't want alice to close my door <laughs> no don't do it um none of these that may be something like that it's kind of cute but let me just look for some dungarees. Overall with flannel. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I got this. It's like a little bandana. <laughs> um, you like that dress? That dress was cute, wasn't it? And then this is for a mermaid. So look, it's like a shell. Pretty cute, right? Um, okay, what have I got? Um... Three quarters, not three quarters, dungarees. Why can't I find any? Will they be in trousers maybe? I can't seem to find them. This is all my clumsy alien stuff. Those are kind of cute. Those are real cute actually. Today's video is up, yay! Mods, can we do, oh there we go. Can we do the, um command update for and a flannel top okay for the new video plus flannel so is that like something like that that works surprisingly well actually well <laughs> they are not from the same collection this also works love the dungarees they look so comfy don't they i love these dungarees too Trying to avoid any hair clashes. That's kind of cute. She has neater energy. Oh gosh, I'm dropping apple on the floor. She does, right? <gasps> Why is that so instantly cozy? That is so cozy. Okay, it's got to be this one. The energy of this one is 
so cozy. Like, I love that it's quite long on her arms. Like, oh, it just looks so comfortable. Is that a bit clashy with the hair or does that work? What do you guys reckon? That looks so comfy, right? And look at the little open button here. Like, so cute. You get like it with the first jumper. Um, first jumper, which was this one. That does look very cozy. You guys like it in yellow. Okay, which do you guys prefer? Option one or option two? One, two. I'm gonna do a little poll. Option. Okay, so a reminder, uh, one is this one. There is a few other color options, so we could go for a more muted color like this one. One or two. One or two. Go ahead and vote now. Um, Dragon TS4, thank you so much for the bits. There's an S setting on MCC for inheritance. <gasps> I would have so much money in my not so very challenged by now if I'd have known that. No! I don't mind starting from scratch each time though. I actually kind of like it. Uh, one, two. Uh, Rosie B, thank you so much for being here for two months. Hope you've had a wonderful two months, my love. I love your vids. Thank you so much for being for two months with Prime. Hi, Claire. I love your vids. You helped me through the deaths of my best friend and aunt. No, I would like to say thank you for that. I love your vids. I'm so, so sorry to hear that. Sending you some huge, huge love right now. Can we get some love in the chat? So, I-L-Y, your vids. I-L-Y, your vids. So sorry to hear that you've gone through a tough time recently. We're sending you all of the peachy love. Um... One, two, two. Oh, 50%. You guys did not. You guys did not. Okay. I like this one. I think this one's comfy. So you guys need to stop 50 50 in life. Honestly, you're so cheeky. And I'm kind of. Have I got any like little yellow shoes? Um, What kind of shoes are you thinking for her? I can probably get these in yellow. Actually, maybe that that's cute. That is a cute look. Why is she so cute though? Nah, the orange is so cute. There is a light change to orange. Wow, and I literally just put on orange shoes. It's all coming together. Okay, here we go. Orange, oh, so cozy. Orange cozy lights. You guys are thinking maybe welly bobs. I actually don't know if I have any welly bobs. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know if I have welly bobs that are gonna work with these. Um, welly bobs. Yeah, I need to download some CC welly bobs because welly tons would look really cute. The one with the flower, what these? Booties? I don't know if the boots can look a bit strange with this though. I think that looks a lot more her vibe, I would say. Oh, the one with the flower. I get what you mean. So, um, I can put like these on her. I'm trying to find the right color. And then I can put a flower on. <laughs> Where is the flower accessory? Oh, I thought it was near the bottom. Flower. Don't they stop? Ah, here we go. A little flower on her shoe. I like this little stalk. Like she's been in the garden. <gasps> or, or like Hazel's just come like up to her and she's been like, oh, your shoelace is untied. And then she goes down to tie her shoelace and then when she's tied it, there's a little flower left in it. And Junoop is like, Hazel, stop being so freaking cute. I feel like that's what's happened. Cute, good, good, good. Um, could you do you want to see you want to see the other girl real quick as well? This is Hazel. These are the wifeys. Hazel likes to listen to music because Hazel is a music lover who is also creative and clumsy. And then we need to think of junipers. What's juniper into? Juniper needs a necklace of some kind. I'm feeling maybe a witchy necklace because she just has that witch energy, you know. And I have. Um, oh, I'll just give her some horns. Lol, no. Um, hmm. 
No, I think the white one looked better. Oh, it seems too high up though. I think everything's too high up on her neck. Yeah, I think something low like this looks better. It suits her more. Hmm, I don't know if pearls is a bit much. I don't know if she's got pearl vibes to her. Okay, that feels more on brand. Some little flowery necklace? Is it a bit too long? I can't find the right necklace! Ah! Oh! Oh my gosh, yes, this is the right one. Uh, can I try and get one that matches her earring? Like a little red one? It's more like purpley, isn't it? Okay, there we go. There, now these two kind of match. <gasps> and I think we are done, okay. What shall we give Hi. Juniper as her... I, I can't give her a bracelet because this is so long, you're not gonna be able to see it. So what should we give her for her lifetime aspirations? So as a reminder, Hazel is a super parent who's... Um, Want, wants loads of kids running around the house basically so she can play with them and uh, she's a music lover creative and clumsy so um hazel is our artist was that right yeah because she's creative uh whereas juniper prefers to write so she's got writey energy about her so should i make her a muser Hmm. Is there a writer specific one? Hmm. You guys can't see because the bean come. It's okay. I'll read them out to you guys. Outdoorsy. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. That is perfect. Okay. I'm going to put her loves the outdoors. Um, so she loves the outdoors. There she is doing some poses with a phone. I'm going to make her a muser. And I get the vibe that she's quite a cheerful sim. Like she's always happy. So there we go. And then for her, um, aspiration. Um, I might make her a homesteader. This sim wants to be self-sufficient and live off the land. I feel like that works. So let me see if I can show you guys them here. Yeah, here we go. So, loves the outdoors. Musa, cheerful, and she's a green thumb homesteader. And then, uh, Hazel is a super parent who is domestic, music lover, creative, and clumsy. And there we go! There is a writer one. Bookworm. Oh, yeah. Let me swap her Musa one out. I've never given anyone a Musa trait before, you know. Let me swap that out for Bookworm. There we go. And we're done! We have finished our girly whirlies. Let me know what you guys think of them. Miss Darcy, thank you for the bits. You feel strong cottage core witch energy from her. Agree, hard agree. They're roommates. Oh no. Wife. Boom. Why does it say vampire? What? Oh, on the title. Because we're about to play vampire. They are set to married, yeah. They oh my gosh, how weird is this? Look. Literally, bookish make Mike Mikey and Artsy Ulrich aren't materialistic, but they could use some upgrades around the house. Lol. Why were they roommates? Were they roommates and not together, that couple? I didn't realise that. I've made mine wifeys, don't worry. Wifeys, wifeys, and I'm gonna go ahead and save these girly whirlies now. Um, I'll probably update their description and then upload them to the gallery, but I'm gonna save them for now. And we are all done, so um, let's do a little tick of them. And I will show you guys the house to remind you guys where they're gonna be living. Um, in fact, let's play as them real quick just so I can show you guys them. Partial check, thank you. I love them as well, they're really cute. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna... Uh, just because I don't want them to die, I want it to be like morning. 
So I'm gonna set the time to like um, 7 a.m. There we go. And then let me check what their relationship set to. <laughs> Lol, no. 100, 100, 1000, Renchit. And then I just really want them. Oh, maybe it needs to be a bit later. Oh, no, I can do it here. I just want to like see them outside the house now that we're all done. And you're feeling flirty. You're doing some barbecuing. Okay, let me just reset them real quick. No, you're in the wrong seat. Okay, there we go. And I just feel like it's highly necessary now. We've finished everything. <laughs> and everything's looking super beautiful. I feel like we need um, a kiss outside the house. Just for aesthetics more than anything. Headline effects of goodbye. And we're done. A pastel, a pretty pastel cottage and a pretty pastel couple. They're probably just going to stand here for like 10 years now because I use the time sheet. The house is cute, right? The house is super cute. I actually think this lighting is a bit dead at the front of the house. Yeah, look, they're like bugged out. Whenever I change time, it does this. Um, oh my gosh, look at her blush, lol. Um, please can you do one kiss? Thank you. There we go. Kissing outside their pretty little home. So I hope you guys enjoyed our adorable little uh, pastel, cozy pastel. Are you guys have to go woo woo? Oh my gosh, the tree. Where's the tree that's meant to be there? There we go. Lol, the tree just disappearing on me. Where, where are you guys going? What? Oh my gosh. I'm like, guys, look at our pretty little cottage. Have you seen what's happening right now? Have you, have you your top off? Wow, okay, so that happened. But there we go. <laughs> Our pasta little cottage is complete. If you guys liked it, go ahead and let me know in the chat. If you're on YouTube and you enjoyed it, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And I will upload this to the gallery. I'm warning you, there's a lot of CC, so it's not going to look the same. I will also upload our lovely ladies to the gallery as well, once I've given them a little description as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're on YouTube, I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye! <laughs>